everybody, mm. you are listening to the 101th Ooh, once. episode <laughs> of 101th episode of History Boys. Yeah. Uh, if you like, you know, you could go back and list 100, but this is 101. It's yeah. 101. Yeah. Chugging right along. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. And I'm Christopher Whedon, and I am a uh, 101-year-old history boy. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Maddie Moon, and I'm a, like, uh, seven-year-old. I'm <laughs> seven. seven. Shoot, seven that's not I'm eight. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why was that so funny? Uh, and I'm Jerry Nash. I think I'm, I think I'm actually 99, right? Mm. I'm 99 history boy. Yeah, you've actually, we, we actually, uh. There's two. Full of, up front, correction from the last episode. Yeah. Uh, Jerry hosted, has now hosted, including this one, 99 episodes, yes. because of course, I can't believe we forgot the one TJ did. Yes. So TJ and I are tied for hosting yes. at one. Yes. Jerry has done 99, 99 as of this episode. Yes. So we forgot about TJ, and uh... He'll be on the show again. Yeah, yeah TJ's cool. Point, sure. So today, gang, we're going back to the Old West. Ah. Right? Hell yeah. I yep. love talking about the Old West. I do. Wild um, Wild West, <laughs> wiggy, where wiggy. Will Smith, <laughs> yeah, Will Smith is there with yeah. his, with his. Uh, I is don't a, know. I've never seen. Is he a movie. sheriff? In uh, in the movie, yeah. Remember, they get it's that town. They get a black sheriff, and everyone's super racist. Yeah, you're mixing up uh, blazing. blazing yeah, but I think I'm also. <laughs> Wait, there's a lot of rate like Wild Wild West was a remake of Blazing. Saddles. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a remake. <laughs> There was a show called Wild Wild West. There that's was. That's what that's actually based on. Yeah. And that had giant uh, CGI spiders, too. It did which not. was ahead of its time. <laughs> <laughs> but it was ripping off Rawhide, which also had gigantic uh, ro CGI robotic spiders. spiders. They, yeah. No, they were, they were at practical effects. Oh, practical quite effects. impressive. What they, about Bonanza? Or no. Gunsmoke? Or Rawhide? Or Rifleman? Or, uh... I don't know. <laughs> There's another one. I haven't seen that There's movie a bunch in so of them. long. There's a bunch of old... TV Whoa, Western shows. Not very well rated, surprisingly. Gunsmoke? <laughs> no, Wild Wild West. Oh, Wild Wild West. <laughs> the Will Smith one? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's surprising to you? I was joking. Okay. <laughs> I've actually seen a lot of the TV show. It was on, uh, like, in the middle of the day in summertime, ah. and I used to watch reruns of I've the seen Wild some Gunsmoke. Oh, really? But I've never seen Wild Wild West. Yeah. There, there was a, like, little person villain mm -hmm. uh, of his in Wild, what, the TV show that was, like, the most diabolical... The oh, one yeah. of the whole TV show. <laughs> it was fantastic. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I loved it as a kid. <laughs> oh, was this a 90s TV show? Oh, or was well, it like reruns from the... Sub or like it's like 60s, 70s, okay. I want to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. That makes sense. Today, gang, we are talking about Calamity Jean. Ah. You've heard of her? Calamity. I've heard the name, but I knew basically nothing. <clears throat> I know that she's a bit of a... It causing trouble with a name like that. Yeah, uh, she's causing gotta be. some calamities. Is that all you really know about her? I don't know anything. That she, okay. yeah, I don't know anything. She's that played she has by a Jerry gun. Seinfeld in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what is the deal with the Wild Wild West? Yeah. What's the deal with these muskets? Oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> goes around saying. Yeah. What is the deal with this? There's no actual like. What is the deal with that? Oh God, I wish she would fucking go away. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Like I don't. Every time I try to answer him, he just keeps he just keeps saying it about a different thing. He's like, "What is the deal with dating a seventeen-year-old?" <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Well, Calamity Jane is an American frontiers woman, uh, who's sort of since passed into American folklore, um, especially with the name and mm. reputation that she had. It's a solid name. Yeah. It's like Wild Bill or uh, yeah the other one. Yeah. There's there's Billy many the kid. More. The other yeah. one. The other one. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, they all had nicknames back in the day. Bat Masterson, which is <laughs> his real name, which is but a badass name. Yeah, it Bat? is. Bad. His name is Bat. Oh yeah, yeah. Bat Masterson. Well, you yeah. listen to every single episode of our show before you became a host. <laughs> <laughs> I needed, I needed a fresh start. Okay. No, I couldn't have. Yeah, I couldn't, yeah. No. You can't come in. Yeah. She yeah. did the Men in Black eraser thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thing to herself yeah. before she got. Yeah. On the Speaking show. of Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Remember that time he slept Chris <laughs> Rock? Anyway, like, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. You're just going to slip that in there. He had a great yeah. reputation yeah. until recently. On. No, uh, she, you know, she kind of passed into legend in her own lifetime, mm. which is kind of a crazy okay. thing. That doesn't normally happen to people. She's like a Pancho Villa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the thing is, is it is sort of a study in like myth making and mm-hmm. like legend making. You know, because it happened during her life, and she's one of the very few people that sort of saw her legend happen while she was still alive. Mm. So it's she's, she's like she's unique yeah. for that. Yeah, she's like I'm getting famous as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> it's what happened to Kanye West too. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> and Will Smith. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the real story of Calamity Jane has been obscured, confused, and muddled. The year, the month, the day, the location of her birth have all been disputed mm. throughout time, mm. as well as her real name. Mm. So that shows you how confusing oh, really? these things can get. Yeah. She was actually Calamity Jan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Jan! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> she became one of the first uh, dime novel stars. Mm. Calamity Jane rocketed into Wild West stardom and fame, but the real Calamity Jane was much different than what people imagined her to be. Hmm. Cool. Much different. Uh, And we'll get get into that. She didn't live up to her legend. You're like, we're we're not going to get into that at all. Yeah, (laughs) we're not going to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Change the subject. Yeah, Yeah, you know what? Let's do a different (laughs) story. (laughs) Start over again. Now, Martha Jane Canary. Hmm. Canary. Yes, Canary. That's a cool name, isn't it? Martha Jane Canary. That's a very old. That's all very old timey. Oh yeah, yeah. Canary. Canary. Yeah. 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 That that last name didn't last. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At least I don't think so. I've never met I a Canary. I've yeah. never really met a Martha. I don't think. Oh. Uh, yeah. You got Batman's mom. Martha Stewart. Oh yeah. Martha I've never Stewart. met her though. I've, I've never not. met her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Me either. I wish. You got, you got, I love uh, her. Superman's mom. Ah, a lot Wait, of superheroes' really? mothers. Yeah. They, then they made a thing of it in that fucking stupid movie. Um, uh, Superman? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, and according to her burial site, she was born on May 1st, 1852. <gasps> she is... Oh, no, Taurus. I thought May she was day. Gemini Taurus. for a second, but okay. no. Yeah, oh, she's a Taurus. She's a Taurus? Yeah. A That's, bull. It's not as bad as a Gemini. That yeah. fits, that fits mm-hmm. for her. That fits, they, for, yeah. fits for her. Yeah. Is that what the... Is that what a... It's a bull. It's a bull? Yeah, so they can be stubborn and... Ah. It fits. I'm pretty fucking stubborn, though. You could have yeah. Taurus... Astrology is bullshit. <laughs> you have multiple signs. I've got... You do? Yes, you have one for every planet. Oh, my God. I don't know how many oh. how many planets are there. Oh, no, Jesus I'm kidding. Christ. I'm kidding. In the solar system, eight. <laughs> well, you're talking about yeah. when we grew up when there was nine planets? Yeah, so does that fuck with my zodiac? What drives me crazy about that? No. <sighs> Yeah, it's because it's, yes. it's, it's, <laughs> it's all fucking bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, the planets quite... and the stars have nothing to do with my life. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably not. But yeah, anybody who probably says not. like, oh no, there are nine planets. I hate that shit. Because one, let shit go. Right? Let it go. Let it's let it such go. a weird just, thing like, to hold on. You to. know, what? it's the whole thing. Like you can't, they, you don't control they don't, this. They don't yeah. like change. They don't like. Oh well, it used to be this way, so that was better. It was That's better. That's what. I, if you to, ever yeah. said. If you, if you are dying on the hill that Pluto is a planet, you can fuck yourself, turn the podcast off, I don't want to you to listen to it. You're a moron. If Neil deGrasse Tyson tells you it's not a planet, it's not a planet. Yeah. Although, well, the didn't other thing it is, get reestablished as a planet? It's a dwarf planet. planet. Yeah, it's just a matter of... But there's a of, bunch of dwarf planets. It's classification yeah. based like, on size. We have like 12 fucking planets. It's arbitrary. If... Uh, who cares? <laughs> There's so many know. more planets than the ones in our solar system anyway. You're never going to go there. We're talking exoplanets. That's going on about that. Yeah. yeah. That's very Europa interesting. They're looking for like series. Le- Earth-like planets out there. Yeah. yeah. There's a yeah. lot of them. We're going to have to wally ourselves up to the next mm. Earth. Yeah. I'm already about that fat, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I need uh, the bone density to drop. Yeah. That's the, my real problem. Yes. I got these thick-ass bones. <laughs> yeah. If you didn't have bones, you don't have to worry about, yeah. You don't have to worry about being a long So many space. things, yeah. Doesn't that happen without, like, you, your bones, like, get all I think it's your, mu- your muscles. Yeah, they get all gelatinous, you get, get all stretched I don't think your out. bones get gelatinous. <laughs> that would be insane. Yeah, I don't Astronauts know. Astronauts are... <laughs> and then upon returning to Earth, they're just like... 
St- stiffen I, up. They melt melt into a <laughs> yeah. puddle. You know what I do like in Wally though is <laughs> like you see jelly. the list. You see the f- pictures of all the captains of the ship, and they're just getting fatter and fatter yeah. Yeah. as it goes on. <laughs> You're like, I'm like me if I took a picture every year of my whole life. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> me, I'm talking about me, not you. <laughs> to be clear, <laughs> I'm saying it for me as well. Yeah. Uh, well, I they say 1852, but honestly, there's so many sources out there that will place it. You know, as early as like the, you know, eight, late eighteen forties, some even earlier than that, um, say later, you know, than than eighteen fifty two. So I'm just going with, uh, with what's on her tombstone or burial site marker, mm. and say it's eighteen fifty two. But a lot of people don't agree on the actual time she yeah, was. I don't uh, agree. <laughs> she may have, <laughs> she may have known that her birthday was on May first. And she may not have known the actual year. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Birth certificates yeah, yeah, yeah. were not a thing yet. Yeah. So. So she might not be a Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. After all. Uh, now, she was born in Princeton, Missouri. Oh, Missouri. Missouri. I'll be dead in the cold, cold ground before they recognize Missouri. <laughs> Simpsons. Misery. Yeah. yeah. She uh, was the oldest of six children. Mm. Uh, three, we don't know. What really happened to them, if they survived childhood or not, we don't really know. Almost certainly did not. Yeah, maybe not. Her mother, Charlotte, Charlotte Canary, she was known for being a cantankerous alcoholic. Cool. Cantankerous uh, Charlotte, they should have called her. Yeah, (laughs) cantankerous Charlotte, yeah. Uh, She smoked her black cigars and Mm. drank, you know, whiskey and yelled at people from her porch. Nice. She's uh, cool. Get off like her that. yard. She's she cool hassle shit. people. Yeah, Pe- people didn't like her very much. She'd go to the <laughs> store and compl- she's a regular yeah. Karen. Yeah, she cursed at people. <laughs> she like should have been Karen Canary. Canary. Karen Canary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now her father, Robert Canary, he was a gambling man mm, and a fiend. Yeah, he had to sell the uh, family farm for cheap, mm. and they ran away from their debts yeah. in Missouri. Pheasant prices. Yeah. <laughs> So they sold it for cheap, ran away from their debts to go to Montana Mm -hmm. to follow the gold rush Mm -hmm. that was going on in the Black Hills at that time. Mm -hmm. So they took the Oregon Trail Mm -hmm. to go there. Mm -hmm. and They died uh, of dysentery. (laughs) (laughs) Martha, you know, kind of remembers it fondly, which Mm. is weird. Like, she kind of liked going over the rivers and, like, lowering the... The wagons, like, down oh, cliffs and gosh. stuff. Mm. You know? She liked the danger of knowing that there were, like, hostile ah. natives out there. Mm. You know what I mean? They'll eat you. Yeah, that's what she they believed She would have loved Oregon time. Trail 4. <laughs> yeah, <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> She yeah. would have played the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> she was living it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's probably not quite as exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they ended up in Virginia City, Montana. Hmm. Where her mother died, or right on the way, you know, mm. and towards the end of the trip, or she died there, or close to there, her mother died, basically, when they got to Virginia City. Yeah. Fell down some stairs. Uh, she o- actually... Onto some bullets. She, she died... <laughs> <laughs> she, she either died of, like, heart failure, something to do with a heart, you know, a heart attack, something like that, or she died from something called wash tub pneumonia. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. And wash from all dirty. the washing your own clothes. Yeah, well, they'd like put you in. Yeah, it, it is. It mm-hmm. is from being a laundress your whole life. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like you would get a bunch of fluid in your lungs. This is why I need an in, 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 in unit yeah. washing machine. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Being a laundress was one of the worst jobs. How are you in the, in getting the old fluid? Days. It, was it you're wh- breathing all of the vapor and from stuff? the detergent or what? Not. Nah, I'm sure it from was from the deter- hot water. Mm-hmm. You know. What? Yeah, and their so hands were all dried. So does that mean steam rooms are bad for me? <laughs> <laughs> and if you did no. it eight hours, yeah, well, I guess if you, if you did it, you know, yeah, for every eight day. hours a day, and right. you know, bakers will get like bakers lung and things like that. I got that bakers um, lung. Yeah, <laughs> or if you make in the popcorn flour. every day. I mean, I could see get breathing in flour. It's just crazy to me that like water. Well, you're breathing in like the like stuff from the oven the and stuff like too. that. But it's the water. Oh. Yeah, the water getting in your lungs and things like that. Yeah, when you do it all the time, mm-hmm. right. it's rough. Right, it's rough right, business. Right. Um, you can get like sores and stuff on your hands and, mm. and arms as well. Now, Robert moved the family uh, down to Sal- Salt Lake City, Utah, ah. probably to get like help from the Mormons. That's like, where I was born. Oh. 
And yeah. also my grandfather, who was also yes. named Robert. Yes. Is this my grandfather? <laughs> Were you doing two episodes in a row about him? It's true. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he was busy. Uh, yeah. Now, he, he had a farm down there for a short amount of time. Uh, now, he, he either died on the farm or he, well, because he was a gambling man, mm -hmm. he had some debts and he skipped mm -hmm. town he and away. left his children and he went was never a, heard or seen from ever again. He went out on a boat trip with some uh, shady figures yeah. that he's never seen again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like yeah. Dr. Gonzo. Yeah, yeah. And so the children were, were orphaned mm -hmm. um, at a very young age. As and the it, style at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, For sure. It was reported in one of the newspapers that two children, and it was Martha and her sister, were going around to houses begging for food, like knocking on doors and begging for food, mm. which is very sad, very mm -hmm. sad. And her sister kind of had to, you know, take care of her siblings now, you know, just mm. her. And she even, like, packed them all up into a wagon at, like, 13 or 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And took them to Fort Laramie, Wyoming. Mm. Hmm. And like, this is a child, you know, yeah. taking all these kids, you know, however many kids, three at least, you know, in a wagon across land from Salt Lake City right. to Fort Laramie, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. right. It's hardcore, you yeah, know? Yeah, for sure. When she got there, she had to support them pretty much by doing anything, you know, anything she could. So she was a laundress. Mm -hmm. She washed dishes. It was around here when she was somewhere between 14 and 16 years old where she became a dance hall girl. Mm, bit of uh, a soiled dove. Mm. Well, yeah, and remember, dance hall girls and prostitutes aren't necessarily the same thing. But there's a lot of crossover. Yeah, mm. you know some overlap. I mean? Yeah, and just as a quick refresher, like being a dance hall girl, you just danced with men to the music, right? Oh, okay. And then they would take you over to the bar... You know, or your job was to take the man over to the bar so he could buy whiskey. Mm -hmm. And he'd always buy two drinks. But you were supposed to fill the woman's drink with, like, mm -hmm. apple juice or something else. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. tea or something else, and she would drink tea, mm -hmm. right, and not whiskey all night. Yeah. Right. You know? So yeah. the guy would get all fucked up, you know. Basically, you milk the guy for all of his money as you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you move on to the next person, right? And then you rob him. Yeah, and sometimes... <laughs> You know, there was prostitution involved. Mm -hmm. and there probably was in Martha's case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at that at that age. 14, 15, 16. Yeah. yeah. Yep, get, yep. Get him to pass out drunk and pull the uh, gold teeth out of their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> it's a pretty penny, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's it's probably around here that Martha began her, her relationship with alcohol. Cool. You know, she nice. probably did drink whiskey when it She's was like, offered. Yeah, don't give me that fucking apple juice bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting fucked up tonight. Yeah. I'm finna get fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. wasn't apple juice, but you know, tea, something that yeah, wasn't that yeah. looked it. like whiskey then. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, now she probably gave her siblings away to other families uh, so they could take care of these kids. Mm -hmm. She could not take care of these kids. Mm -hmm. um, and she started roaming basically she was effectively homeless her whole life mm -hmm. and she started roaming the west trying to survive on her own mm -hmm. and a big way she was able to do that was she dressed as a man and it's not like she ever pretended to be a man mm -hmm. but she realized that like with her knowledge of how to you know, drive wagons and drive, you know, drive teams of ox and, mm -hmm. and ride horses and these things. She had a lot of skills that were valuable mm -hmm. in this time and place. So what she would do is she would either dress like a soldier or like a man and follow these armies mm -hmm. around, right? Like, she said that she was with, you know, General Crook and General Miles and even General Custer mm -hmm. um, as a camp follower. Is what she really was. Like a groupie. Kind of a groupie. <laughs> Soldier groupie. She, she, yeah. did, she did laundry. She mm. cooked. And she, you know, she every once in a while she would drive, you know, things here and there. Mm -hmm. Everyone said that she was really good at that. Uh, but the thing was, is she, she did say that she was a scout mm. for these generals. Okay. It's probably bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, she also told a lot of tall tales She's in her day. She's a fucking liar. Mm. You know, she didn't think the internet was going to come out and everyone would be Nobody's like, gonna now remember. wait a minute. <laughs> you know? 
I think, you know, she she liked telling stories around the campfire. Yeah. And I think she inflated it a little bit to where she was in the, at, at the center of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know, she right. didn't know that people were going to pull all this stuff up later and, and be like, uh, says this says right here that you're t- telling a pack of lies. Yeah. You know, like, no. <laughs> you're full of shit, Jane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and one place that she worked at, at Fort Laramie was the notorious Three Mile Hog Ranch. Mm. Mm. Do you know what the Three Mile Hog Ranch is? No. I feel like I've heard of that. It's, like, it's a historic site. It's still there. It's okay. on private property. It's still there. Mm-hmm. It is a brothel. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it's kind of mean that they called it the hog ranch. I was thinking it was like, <laughs> yeah. which was just like, wow. Remember that serial <laughs> killer in Canada who had that like pig farm? Yeah. That, Willie uh, Pickton. Yeah. Willie Pickton. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. She worked there. So it, there were no hogs. Well, they were calling women that basically. Mm-hmm. Right. The women that worked there that. There were no actual... No, yeah, pigs. Pigs, yeah. no. But yeah, she got a, a reputation for being a really good bull whacker. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. You know what is bull that? bull whacker is? <laughs> no, I mean, I can... <laughs> whacker? I, I just think it's funny. You I got gotta to. say whacker? it with the H. Bull yeah. whacker. Bull whacker. Um, she was really good with a bull whip yeah. and like driving... Is it like driving you know, bulls yeah, drive, uh, or just yeah. cattle in general? Uh, you know, it's it's more about like driving teams of bulls and, mm-hmm. and things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. She if she was good at anything, it was like driving, you know, wagons and things. You know, like teams of mm-hmm. horses and and things like that. Getting from point A to point B. She's like, She'd done that her whole life. Getting a bunch of fucking yeah. It sounds like a euphemism for hand job. I just <laughs> yeah. I need to say that because that's what I, that's what I was laughing at. Yeah, yeah. No, that's pretty. Now it does. Yeah, she She's would even a like bull whacker if you yeah. know what I'm saying. <laughs> She would even practice with her bull whip, like, outside of town, and people would be like, who's that guy over there with that whip? <laughs> He's a like, real man's man, yeah, if you ask yeah. me. <laughs> and they're like, that ain't no man. That's, you know, that's Calamity Jane. And they're you know? like, whoa! And their hat, like, spins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She wore uh, buckskins, head-to-toe buckskins. Cool. Um, a red bandana sometimes. She wore gun belts all the time, too. Mm. Not that she ever really used her guns. So Some people say that she was, like, a really good shot. Mm-hmm. Mm. That may have been true. Turns out when you're drinking a lot, you're not actually that great at shooting, you know? <laughs> Damn. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you actually get worse at anything. Yeah. When Just because you, you brandish your gun a lot doesn't yeah. really mean that you're good at you shooting. You tell that to Doc Holliday. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> he got better as he drank. Yeah. So, so often do you hear stories of, like, they were drunk and then... He shot, like, at point-blank range and missed. Mm. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. I couldn't imagine. I've, I mean, I've tried yeah. to play video games while yeah. being, like, wasted, and it's just not happening. Mm-hmm. She uh, she was illiterate, of course. She never mm-hmm. had any any formal schooling at all. Right. She smoked cigars. Cool. She chewed tobacco. Tobacco? Tobacco. And uh, she cursed with the best of them. I like that. And a lot of people mm. said, man, she cursed a lot. She's you know, cool. she cursed more so than a lot of the men. She's like, <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, fucking homeboy from Deadwood's like, keep it down. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Goodness gracious. One of her character in Deadwood curses <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit. And of course, she drank alcohol. Mm. Lots and lots of alcohol. Cool. Mm. Yeah. Now, she bounced around the West and, and really the most notorious towns and forts as well, like Cheyenne, Wyoming, mm. Leadville, Colorado. <laughs> Rapid City. They'll fill you full of lead there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, living in a place called Leadville. Yeah, Ugh. I'm from Leadville. Yeah. You yeah. know there's a mine I'm riddled, there. Oh, yeah. I'm riddled with cancer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a lead mine. <laughs> yeah. That's why, yeah. Uh, Rapid City and Sturgis, South mm. Dakota. Ah, mm. the motorcycle uh, place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is motorcycle country. Yeah. Uh, uh, Not at the time. She's at. No. No. <laughs> she out. she rode a motorcycle. Yeah. A steel horse. Yeah. You know what Not I'm a steel horse she rides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she went you know, from the Platte to Bighorn Rivers, and one of her favorite places in all the world was Yellowstone. Mm. Before it was a national park. She's checking on them guys. Mm. But yeah, yeah, she loved I'm Yellowstone faithful. quite a bit. Yeah. Like I said earlier, you know, she she claimed to be a scout. Passing messages, you know, these really important messages between one army and another, going through these, you know, treacherous terrains and things like this to to do it and and whatnot. 
Probably not. You know, she may have had some crazy adventures mm-hmm. in crazy weather and things like this, but it probably had nothing to do with yeah. vital messages. You mm-hmm. know, because if the generals found out that she was there, they'd send her away. And they did right. multiple mm-hmm. times, yeah. or according to her account. Well, yeah, she sounds like she's full of shit. Well, and they were just, yeah. Turns out she wasn't even in the World Trade Center on 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's even stories about, you know, how she killed Indians. Mm-hmm. Um, because being an Indian killer at this time, um, as a white person, of course, mm-hmm. was uh, something that people found heroic. Yeah. Right. You know, not so much anymore. I, uh, I would have an issue with it. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody's I like, think a few people would. Somebody's like, hey, yeah. I'm pretty cool. I do this. I'd be like, I'm a murderer. I'm going to be. <laughs> I, take, I, I take a bit of issue with that. Yeah. I'm yeah. Just, okay. like, do I have to call the cops now? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. m- maybe you, you, you don't come into my home anymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I call the cops now and <laughs> hide in the other room while they're coming to the door open and get you. Yeah. <laughs> but she she was just sort of a notorious character, you know. She every time she was sort of this camp follower, you know, there'd be a fire, you know, and guys would come over and gather around the fire and they'd all tell stories and she would tell stories mm-hmm. and they all liked her stories. She was a really good storyteller, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So people liked her and because she went all over the place. I just think that she was one of those people, like one of those Old West characters that a lot of people knew of, if not knew directly. Right. And so they're like, ah, that's old Calamity Jane over Mm -hmm. there, you know. And when she got drunk, she howled and she yelped like a coyote. Mm. (laughs) And there's there's stories of her like shooting her gun and you know into the air at nothing Mm -hmm. even one story of her going naked down the street shooting and screaming you know (laughs) at the top of her lungs she's like i'm a goddamn coyote yeah uh coyotes don't wear clothes (laughs) (laughs) but they do shoot guns yeah (laughs) (laughs) there's a couple of barroom brawls that Mm -hmm. you know she would may have been a part of yeah she Mm -hmm. that type of thing she threw somebody through a window yeah Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, oh! I forgot to mention this. Uh, she also may have worked for a time for a very notorious madam mm. okay. um, as a as a prostitute, uh, a soiled dove. Yeah, yeah. Eleanor Dumont, hmm. uh, or as she was better known in the old west, Madame Mustache. Uh, mm. Is that because she had a mustache? She looked like she had a yeah. mustache. She had like kind of the dark, yeah, 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 on, yeah. on her upper lip. Uh, so that's why they called her that, I guess. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I guess she leaned into it. She leaned into it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or the world leaned into it for her, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, she didn't come up with it. Yeah. Now, there are multiple stories about how she got her name, but the one that she told was, quote, It was on Goose Creek, Wyoming, where the town of Sheridan is located now. Captain Egan was in command of the post, We were ordered out to quell an uprising of Indians, and were out for several days, had numerous skirmishes during which six of the soldiers were killed, and several severely wounded. On returning to the post, we were ambushed by a mile and a half from our, about a mile and a half from our destination. When fired upon, Captain Egan was shot. I was riding in advance, and on hearing the firing, turning in my saddle, and saw the captain reeling in his saddle, as though about to fall. I turned my horse and galloped back with all haste to his side and got there in time to catch him as he was falling. I lifted him onto my horse in front of me and succeeded in getting him to safety back to the fort. Captain Egan, upon recovering, laughingly said, I name you Calamity Jane, the hero of the plains. Mm -hmm. I've borne that name up to the present time. Cool. End quote. That's the story she told. Who knows if it's yeah. real? This is before or after she fought Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it's more, you know, she became known and yeah, people yeah, yeah. were like, she's kind of crazy, especially yeah. when she's drinking, which is often. Speaking so. of drinking, I think that lately with this show, they're, we could have a, they could have a drinking game at home every time we mention Bigfoot. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's yeah. been a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's like every episode. <laughs> yeah. But it was in July of 1876 in Fort Laramie, Wyoming, once again, where she met James Butler Hickok, Mm. otherwise known as Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill. Mm. Wild Bill. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about Wild Bill because I do want to do an episode on Mm -hmm. him, 
And there's another reason. It's because everyone, everyone throughout history, these two people have been connected, and for mm. good reason. You'll kind of know why later on. Mm. But the truth of the matter is, he didn't really want anything to do with her, mm-hmm. and didn't really give her the time He's of like, day. I don't care for you, Jane. Yeah, and uh, I will be going. Yeah, and <laughs> she was sort of infatuated with him. Mm. You know, so his party with his buddy Colorado. Charlie Utter, that's his name, Colorado Charlie Utter. Oh, Colorado Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> God, everyone and their names back I know. then. Jesus. I love, I love the, the Wild West nicknames. Yeah. They're, they're so good. <laughs> I feel like Utter was probably his real. Uh, it, yeah. But he was Colorado Charlie. Colorado Charlie Utter. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Is it Utter like a cow? U-T-T-E-R. Uh, mm, yeah. Like utter the words. Mm. Utter, yeah. But they, they their wagon train was going... Up to a place called Deadwood. Mm, I've heard of that. South Dakota. Mm. Yeah. It was a mining town. Mm-hmm. Now, although Wild Bill didn't really give her the time of day, he did say that she had a command of the use of profanity, mm-hmm. which he sort of admired or, or thought was funny, I He's guess. Like, cool. <laughs> and he also had a, a barrel of whiskey that he would let his men basically swim and drink from. <laughs> Whenever they wanted, mm-hmm. right? And I guess the person that came over most often to get, like, more whiskey out of there was Calamity Jane. Yeah, sounds right. <laughs> she was kept like, all right, Bill, I'm dry. And he's like, oh, okay, slow down a little bit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's free booze. They're, like, going through it, yeah. So when they got to the town of Deadwood, she, of course, was notorious for mm-hmm. her drinking. Um, she, she did a lot of odd jobs, of course. She... Dabbled in some prostitution. Cool. She cut and sold wood. Even cooler. Um, always a job mm. that you can do. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> she was a laundress, and uh, she also was a nurse mm. from time to time with like the sick mm-hmm. and, and poor. And like people even give her like a almost a Robin Hood esque yeah. reputation. Yeah. You know, um, even though she was not, she was not a renegade or or mm-hmm. yeah, a bad man or anything like that. You know. An outlaw. She was not nothing like that. She did hang out with that one monk, though. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he was a friar. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Friar mm-hmm. Tuck. Friar Tuck. Yeah. Yeah. He was a rabbi in the uh, Mel Brooks yes. movie. Yes. Yes. Because Mel Brooks is yeah. playing. I get yeah. it. Yeah. Makes sense. She hung around with a guy who was an outlaw. Arkansas Tom. Mm. <laughs> <All Okay. right. laughs> guess, um, Why are we just naming people after states? I'm Arkansas. That's where he's from. Oh, yeah. it's, <laughs> I, it's probably because, like, a lot of these first names, it's just Bill, Charles, mm-hmm. you know. Tom. Yeah. Tom. Yeah. It's like, which Tom? Arkansas Tom. Arkansas uh, Tom. That's <laughs> better yeah. than Fat Tom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or oh, like, there were that. Fat, there were yeah. those guys Old like fat that. and dumb Tom. <laughs> yeah. There were definitely names like that. Yeah, though, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I, I, there were so many in our Soapy Smith and, and uh, Wyatt Earp episodes. Yeah, I, you went off on, like, so lists. I, I listed them off. Hilarious. Yeah. Oh, my God. The names. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. There are, it's so funny. Uh, Sarah Silverman had a joke, kind of like, yeah, of like giving, when you're describing two people with the same name or whatever, because yeah. she calls someone named Natalie, and, or someone named Natalie calls her. And she's like, which Natalie? Na- Tall, thin Natalie or Natalie Bishop? <laughs> yeah. She's like, Natalie Bishop? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> a really attractive, pretty one or Natalie Bishop? Yeah. <laughs> she's like, um. Uh, <laughs> and then finding out how, the way other people like yeah. describe you to like, like, if yeah. there's two people yeah, in the same yeah. name. The really smart, beautiful, funny, charming, <laughs> well to do, successful Natalie. Yeah. Or the other one. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the really nice, good looking Chris mm. or the, or shithead Chris. <laughs> no. yeah. Or Chris Weed. Or the other one. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> A lot Washboard of Chris's, abs, so. yeah. hot Chris or Chris Weed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Calamity and Arkansas Tom, they were hanging out and they were watching like a show, like mm-hmm. a you know a little stage play. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they were drunk as fuck. Mm-hmm. Calamity Jane, she started yelling at the performer, and she spat her tobacco. To- 
Tabaki. Tabaki. Mm-hmm. She spat it right into the guy's eye, <laughs> and it like dribbled down her dress because she did wear dresses every mm-hmm. once in a while too. Yeah. Uh, not just men's clothing. She's like, I need to wear nice clothing if I'm gonna be spitting at people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she spit it, and Arkansas, uh, Arkansas Tom, he started shooting out the lights that were on the stage. Yeah. Because that's Damn. what you do. That that's not the first time we've heard no. of people doing that. <laughs> no, it, it was wild back then. Yeah. <laughs> in the theaters. Yeah. People are getting shot. <laughs> people get shot in theaters in the head, a lot. In the, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. The shooting the lights. One of the pr- a president has been assassinated in a theater. Yeah. Dangerous place to be. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. Never go to a theater. Yeah. Never. Do not support your local. No. <laughs> Don't go see Shazam in the theaters. <laughs> or Ant Man. Yeah. But they they partied all night, and were just out of control all night. Sounds like a. And blast. the next. The next day, according to legend, the next day, Arkansas Tom was gunned down in a bank robbery. Mm. So there you go. Really? Yeah. yeah. Shouldn't have done a hungover. He wasn't thinking straight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he like, uh, he's like, I've already bailed on these other bank robbers so many times, <laughs> and now I'm hungover. I was like, I, you just got to do it. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, <laughs> yes. You're like, uh, I just. Uh, I said I was going to be there. <laughs> I don't want them to stop inviting me. Yeah, I was like, uh, I don't want to be a part of their game. I'll make an appearance. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. She wasn't really 100% with outlaws. I think she just knew them. She knew some outlaws. She Mm -hmm. knew some lawmen. You know what I mean? That kind of a thing. He he did get them to change the the, uh, time of the bank robber from 1 p.m. to 3 (laughs) p.m. Like like you, changing the recording time. (laughs) This one. (laughs) Like Jerry, I closed out the bar last night. Yeah. Maybe uh, can we do three o'clock? <laughs> I'm gonna need a nap. Yeah, <laughs> some medicine pizza. Yeah, and she also had these stories of you know while she was in Deadwood that she like rescued stagecoaches, you know things like that. But all of like these stories of like her rescuing stagecoaches, it's like where did you come from? Mm-hmm. Like where were you? Like you just saw this happen? Like oh yeah, you know like and then I jumped in and it's like wait a minute. That's my favorite thing. Wait, like. Were you with the stagecoach? How you were just out there? <laughs> you know? Can we? We've all met people who are notoriously full of shit, right? Yeah, yeah. And their stories often like they'll have these like remarkable fucking stories of heroism. I've known pe- like yeah. personally known crazy people. stories. Yeah, like, I'm I'm not gonna say anybody, but I can yeah. think of people. I can think of people. And like yeah. they'll tell you stories where it's like, oh yeah, like. I, you know, I heard this guy, like, beating his girlfriend up in this alleyway, and I, like, went in and I kicked his ass, and it's like, no, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. Like, there's a reason, like, <laughs> none of the people in the story, like, there, there's not yeah. people you know. You're, you're like, I wasn't with my buddy Steve, you can ask him. No, no, no that net, no. there's never someone there. No, no. Right. Right. But people still like the stories, you know, and they're like, that... That's another one out of old Calamity Jane. Well, the time I beat up that guy because he was beating up his girlfriend in the alleyway, that was a pretty good story. (laughs) But, um... And she would, like, she would do these things where, like, she'd be drunk and, like, hanging on to, like, a lamppost. Cool. You know? Singing in the rain. Yeah. And, uh, (laughs) she would, like, ask passersby to, like, take her home. Mm. You know, or wherever she was staying that night. And, like, one time they had to go from bar to bar figuring out which bar she... Stayed above. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Does she stay here? And she's like, I think it was this one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> this sounds right. Yeah, all and, like, saloons look the same. She, she, one time she asked this like group of guys for like, like, do you got any whiskey? And they're like, no. And she was like, do you got any cigars? <laughs> no. It's like, do you got any tobacco? You know. And they're like, yeah, we do actually. So she took it and took like a big chaw out of it. Mm-hmm. Like they said, <laughs> in the in the source I had, they said. It would make any Kentuckian blush, mm-hmm. like the size of tobacco that she'd. I feel like she's the kind of, of person to be blackout drunk and ask people for tobacco, yeah. and whiskey and whatever. And when they're like, "Well, no, we don't have anybody," she would say a slur at them. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. You, you any fuck? Yeah, you fuckers got tobacco. You know, like she kind of talks like, like that. Yeah. Oh, an example is like you ever. Have, I mean, like somebody asks for a cigarette, and like in my case, I don't smoke. I'm right. like, I don't smoke, and they'll be like, fuck you. Yeah. Well, there's that great video of that woman in the, the Walmart parking lot. She's like, you got a cigarette? Mm-hmm. I'm like, no. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I didn't even, I don't even, I haven't seen that. That's but, a real, yeah, But that video. happens. Like, it happens. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've all, yeah, like, encountered mm-hmm. after the bar closes, everyone's yeah. outside drunk as fuck. I'm pretty sure I've been called, like, a slur. Yeah. I just don't want to say them, but. Yeah. Well, she kind of became notorious, you know, around town, you know. Mm-hmm. And in 1876, it was the same... She had only really known Wild Bill for 
six weeks, mm-hmm. I think, before he was murdered. Mm. Um, and it was a very famous shootout. You know what I mean? I, I do want to say, uh, I, I do want to save that for another time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she had this story where she chased down his murderer, mm. Jack McCall, with a butcher knife <laughs> and like yeah. caught him, you know, probably chopped him to pieces. Cer- certainly not. <laughs> certainly not. Well, and she wasn't even at his hanging. They took him away to be hung. Mm. She said she was at the hanging, but she couldn't have been. Kind of a thing. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, she knew he got justice, but she was very sad when Wild Bill was dead. Mm-hmm. And people were like, wow, she's mourning a lot for somebody that. She's only known for a month and a half. Yeah, and like, didn't really know all that well. Like, mm-hmm. Wild Bill was always like, okay, <laughs> you know, like, stay, <laughs> stay <yeah>. away. <laughs> you know? he, he, yeah, he tolerated her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but pe- yeah, people noticed, you right. know. Mm-hmm. There was one more story. About this one time that she was driving a horse and buggy. It was only a one mile ride between Cheyenne and Fort Russell, but she was so fucked up that she passed by it and uh, she ended up 90 miles away in Fort Laramie. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It's one mile away, and she just kept going. It's like, oh. Wow. It's like when you miss That's your cool. exit, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then you're like, God damn it, I can't get the yeah. next exit stop for like 13 miles. Yeah. I have multiple times. 90 was miles driving in this case. north on 405 and was trying to get on the exit to south I-5, but yeah. accidentally got on the exit for north I-5. Oh my God. So you have to get off. You have on, to go all the way up. Yeah. yeah. You're already going the wrong direction, and it's a whole thing. Mm-hmm. So I was like, the signage annoying. makes sense, Danny, and she's like, no, it completely does. You just keep fucking it up. That's <laughs> <laughs> actually just you. It's completely reasonable signage. Yeah. And for the Seattle area, that's impressive, because yes. fuck it. <laughs> well, in 1878, there was a smallpox epidemic in Deadwood. Cool. And uh, she famously like helped the smallpox patients like mm-hmm. she she like nursed them back to health mm-hmm. you know what i mean she took no pay for this type of stuff um she was very generous she any money she ever had she either drank away yeah or she gave to other people like she pretty much only ever had like a suitcase mm-hmm. with like some clothes in it like, like a few I, dresses I like that's really it mm-hmm. Like, she didn't have a lot of stuff, yeah. you know, and I think she just lived her whole life that way, you mm-hmm. know? Cool. Mm-hmm. Well, um, yeah, I'm sure, like, the turmoil of growing up and never having a, st- a never stable, having anything. yeah, yeah. Like, it's probably just like, yeah, I'll just live off of what I have. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. Survival mode, yeah. you know, 100% of the time, yeah. Cool. you know? Yeah. She, fu- she did leave Deadwood in 1880. And she just continued to drift, basically across the Dakotas, Wyoming, Montana, mm. Idaho, Washington, Oregon, as far down as uh, Texas, ah. even. And she kind of goes dark for this period. We don't really know what happens to her, mm. you know? Some say that she married a, a, a man at this time. This is my immediate thought. Thought, thought she had a family. Well, and well. And fucked off. A lot of women at this time... If they were ever traveling with a man, they'd say, I'm married to him. Oh, right. You know, Mm. because it is still that sort of like, you're not out here by yourself, are you? You know, kind of a thing. You know, Mm -hmm. even though she's going around dressing like a man and she's Calamity Jane, for God's sakes, there's still, it's that pervasive. You know what I mean? I think she had a secret family in this time period. Well, she... Regular uh, Holly Go Lightly. Well, she did, (laughs) she did have a son, Mm. like a baby son. And there's one instance where she was, like, on her horse with the child and that she proclaimed that uh, her son was going to grow up one day to be president of the United States. And that, and that child uh, turned Einstein. out to be Richard Nixon. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for it. Uh, so everyone's Nixon. Yeah. Uh, but the child died mm. in infancy. Sure um, he did. That, that one died, yeah. Old, old, old Tricky Dick. That's why they called yeah. him that. Faked his own death in infancy. It was pretty fucking impressive. Yeah. Couldn't uh, get, over, get the hang of recording equipment, but I, I'm the same way, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who are you to judge? Yeah. Yeah. But her stories really got around, and even other Calamity Janes started to pop up. Like, there was a Calamity Jane number two that was mm. not her. Wow. But, yeah. She had imposters. Yeah. She so had it's fans. like Robin from Batman. Kind of, yeah, well... Uh, other newspapers just 
picked up that name because it's a great name. Mm-hmm. Right. And it they're is. like, oh, old Calamity Jane, you know, but it's like, oh, not it, not this Calamity Jane. This yeah. is not the real or the other Calamity mm-hmm. Jane, you know. Uh, it's like Ghostbusters uh, cartoon series. There's like, there was a, writ, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? There, there's yeah. one that was before. Right. It was like totally based on another thing. Yep. That's why the yep. uh, one I well know from the 80s is called mm-hmm. The Real Ghostbusters. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's why when you look, when you see Calamity Jane's name, you have to look for the blue check mark. Yeah. <laughs> if you want. She paid her $8. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so she's <laughs> either the actual Calamity Jane or has $8. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good business move. Yeah. yeah. It's now a- it's worth $20 billion. You mm-hmm. hear about this? Oh, wasn't there a stock buyback or some shit? I don't no, know. no. He just valued it at twenty billion. You, oh, you he just valued do that? it. Yeah, I guess you can. By the way, this iPad, I just valued this at one million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess you can just do that. You can just, you can just value things. <laughs> so this is one million dollars. Why now. stop at twenty billion then? Bought that level of money. money just we can't really doesn't mean shit to billion. me. Okay. Over a billion. I don't understand yeah. over a million. Yeah, there's like a yeah. psychological. Th- it's the same way how like it's it's there's like a true psychological thing i think i sound so yeah. stupid saying that that like humans cannot actually fathom infinity no and i feel like it's the same way with me <laughs> trying to imagine like having a million dollars yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's like i cannot fathom well like some people work their whole lives to get like in their 401k like a million dollars right so like to get a yeah. billion dollars a that's a billion is so much more that's than that's like how many mm-hmm. lifetimes you know of like that's just I think it's I brought up on the show once the of, whole thing where it's like what a, how long a billion seconds is versus a million seconds. Right, yeah. They're not even close. No, yeah. act, people don't realize yeah how far to, a billion is from Like a billion million. seconds is like 32 years or something. Right? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm Remember not that it up. book? I don't know if you guys ever read there's like a children's book that he's like counting. And mm. like there's a point I think where he has to count to a million or a billion and it's like you couldn't even do it in your lifetime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm sure if you equate it to seconds, I don't know. It's however yeah. many That's seconds. That's kind of the easiest way to know, just because. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to seconds. Yeah. Now, while she was kind of bouncing around the West, she did own her own roadhouses mm. and inns and laundries and saloons. You ever see like, that movie Roadhouse? Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it was way Patrick like. Patrick Swayze. Like yeah. a, a small little roadhouse on, like, you know, in the middle of goddamn nowhere where she was slinging drinks. And I guess she got really good at sliding, like, cool. the drinks across the bar. Yes. She got really good at that. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like, I, yeah, when you have nothing else to do, it's not like there's <laughs> sports and TVs on. It's yeah. like... I also like that... She spent a lot of time in bars, too. <laughs> right. I yeah. also want to point out that she got good at it, which yeah. means... She practiced. Yeah, there were a lot of fuck-ups. She's, yeah, she slug a few a little <laughs> yeah. too far. Yeah. yeah. If you went over yeah. the bar. Yeah, nobody gives a shit. Well, in 1877, a guy named Horatio N. McGuire, mm. he penned a colorful account of her in his promotional booklet, The Black Hills and American Wonderland. Okay. Which it was far from a wonderland. It but, was an ironic name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, he was like, you know, he, he penned this little Calamity Jane. She's... Dresses like a man and curses and smokes cigars and drinks. He all was the time. trying to get people to come to Black Hills. It was like I, a tourist, uh, <laughs> sort of. A yeah, yeah, just sort of writing about the West. You know, people okay. back east were were just clamoring you, yeah, for, for stuff. You could about probably. The West. That's right. exactly what it is. It's, yeah. it's okay. like it's a wild, It's the Wild West. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's why they call it it's that. It's reason. interesting. We yeah. still watch movies based yeah. off of this oh, like yeah. twenty year period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And so there was a dime novelist that basically took this description of her, you know, dressing like a man and and hanging out with the men, not really hanging out with the women. She never really did get along with women. I don't blame her. Uh, She hung around (laughs) men. That was a joke. (laughs) (laughs) So he kind of took this, this, you know, sketch of Calamity Jane and he appropriated it to his own dime novel, mm-hmm. right? Uh, this guy's name was Edward Wheeler. He basically, he took this this just small section, you know, of what Calamity Jane was mm-hmm. and turned her into a whole character for his series called Deadwood Dick. Mm. Why was it called that? <laughs> well, Was there a character named his, Richard? His main character was Deadwood Dick. Uh. And he, you know, was sort of a, not an outlaw, not a lawman, but one of these, like, you know, heroes of the West, kind of morally 
gray a little bit, you know. You know, one thing that never changes from generation to generation is people like to say dick. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they, they go by the, the name dick. I mean, just some, however you can say it. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah. Just the word dick. Just make it into a nickname from a totally unrelated name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doesn't mean penis. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this context. Yeah. And uh, her character in Deadwood Dick, she was like a ruined woman mm. or something. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they weren't, it, it was like the first will they, won't they <laughs> ah. thing. Ah. Like, Deadwood Dick was married, I think, four times during the whole series. Okay. And that the very last one, him and Calamity Jane get together, finally. finally. I'm pretty know? sure, I'm pretty sure Shakespeare wrote some will, will they, won't they. Yeah, that's true, that's like, true. Like, uh, much do about nothing. Is, that's yeah, that. that's a will they, won't they. It totally For is. sure. No, it's nowhere near the close, uh, the first will I know they, what you won't mean. they. I know what you mean. But it was a, it was one. Serialized yeah. uh, will they, won't they. It, it was mm. a, it was definitely something that kept the readers going, mm. you know. Right. And they were jam-packed with action, these dime novels. You know, every, every issue, if you want to call it that. There was always a kidnapping where they had to, you know, escape or you a gun, a, sh gun, gun fight or you need something. an action beat Shoot every out. ten pages. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they called her Calamity Jane, the heroine of the plains, mm -hmm. you know, in these dime novels as well. So that's from the Captain Egan story, by the way, you know, so who knows how true that, you know, it also, when it, when it makes its way into a dime novel, mm -hmm. it's also like, okay, chicken or the egg kind mm -hmm. of a deal, yeah. you know? <laughs> right. It was a huge hit. It was a huge hit. And all of a sudden, she's sort of a star, even though that character is nothing like her. You mm -hmm. know, other than it's a woman that dresses like a man. Yeah, but that's, you know. But that's it. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't the first, first or only woman to dress like a man in the West. You mm -hmm. know, she just happened to be a really notorious character, you know, that did do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She, uh, by the way, there was also a moral panic with, with uh, dime novels, mm. saying that they were corrupting and ruining the youth. Yep, they were. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what I love? I was just yeah. talking to Danny about this, like, that 1950s, like, 1950s, like, rock music. Oh, yeah. You know? One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, Yeah, that rock. kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, That's corrupting the No, that was of yeah. the devil. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Bill Haley and the Comets was of the devil. Well, it's like, the whole, like, the whole, like, total, like, panic of the simpsons in the early 90s oh, yeah. where it's like yeah. oh this is the, mm -hmm. you watched the simpsons in the early 90s it's fucking it's wholesome a, yeah it's right. so wholesome yeah. <laughs> comparative comparative to its own show yeah. You know? right <laughs> yeah and then it was uh comic strips mm -hmm. in newspapers that was also a mor moral panic right. and then comic books on their own oh, yeah. were a moral panic yeah people no people panic every generation mm -hmm. about something yeah Rap so, music. Yeah. Rap music. <laughs> rap music is TikTok. the reason. Oh, yeah. Rap music is the reason there was so much crime in the uh, inner cities. That's not it, true. Yeah, it's absolutely <laughs> not true. It's just fucking insane. Yeah. You, the, it, people are singing about the experiences they had rather than they, they're like, it, no, it's the other way around. So this happened. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Anyway. Uh, Geraldo Rivera, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, he's here. Yeah. His controversial piece of shit. Anyway, I'm saying it right to his face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at him right in his eyes. Yeah, he's crying. We turned his mic off. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> crying into his stupid mustache. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, tell tell us about Al Capone's uh, safe vault. Yeah, yeah vault. Yeah. yeah, remember that? Yeah, there's nothing in it. Yeah, it's very funny. Anyway. She got no royalties from this. She got no money from this, you know, from mm. being famous. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a bunch of people basically now thought her origin story was different. You know, her right. life was different. She was different. So she was always like, you don't know the real calamity. Oh, it's you like know? that episode of Seinfeld where Kramer did the... Oh, uh, yeah, the real... The uh, Peterman, Peterman reality yeah. uh, <laughs> book tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a lot like that. Honestly, yeah. you know, somebody else writing all of your stories, but they're not your stories. You well, know, that's kind also of based off of the real Kenny Kramer did that. Oh, yeah, yeah, And then yeah, they made that's Kramer right. in the show do what he, like... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, there are levels of imitation yeah, there. There's a lot of meta, meta thing things going on there. Like, one rumor was that she came from a preacher's daughter, mm. and she rebelled, you know, and like, <laughs> now look at her now, you're not a preacher's daughter, and she was like, she was like, look... I'm not an outlaw. That's a lie. 
and I'm definitely not a preacher's daughter. Like she almost fervently hated the preacher's daughter thing more so I'm more than like all the other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really, that's what it was. Now, while she was in Texas, like I said earlier, she she w- may have been married to a man named Burke, and they it may have been at this point where she had a daughter. Mm-hmm. We don't exactly know any of this stuff from this period. But then that guy was out of the picture. She may have also had the daughter with another man by the name of Bill Steers in Wyoming. And Bill Steers, he was a brakeman. Mm. And he was an alcoholic as well. And he was incredibly abusive. And they had uh, a lot of knockdown, drag out fights. Mm. At one point, you know, Martha was going to beat him to death with a pipe. Cool. Um, she had him arrested a couple of times before uh, he fucked off into historical obscurity. Mm-hmm. Mm. And she was alone with a child. Mm-hmm. And the child was named, the, the little girl was named Jessie. And some think that she named her Jesse after Jesse James. Jesse James. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The motorcycle guy? Yeah, the motorcycle guy. <laughs> <laughs> She's riding a steel horse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. And she she just continued to drift around the West and, and tell her real life story to anyone who would listen, basically. Mm-hmm. She also started realizing that some of these other like guys that she knows that have sort of risen to dime novel fame were sort of leaning into their own fame for like monetary gain. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh shit, I gotta do that. So like, w- whenever she would go, she'd be like, I'm Calamity Jane, buy me a drink. You know? <laughs> yeah. Or she had like copies made of her portraits and mm-hmm. she liked having her picture taken. She had a lot of pictures taken of her mm-hmm. for someone of this era. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and she would take these copies and she would sell them mm-hmm. for money. You know, she could make ends meet that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, but mo- more often than not, she would just drink it away, right? And yeah. she would even take like the photos and set them on the bar. Yeah. And just get drinks that way. You just know, like, like trade yeah. them for drinks. It's new you know? currency. It was like... I'm- it's not waste time with this fucking currency mm-hmm. middleman. Just here's the pictures. Here's the pictures. The That's about ten bucks. You know, yeah. I want ten bucks w- worth of booze. Which is yeah. probably a lot. That's a lot. You get <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah. It's like the original OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah. Selling it's, your photos. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> and yeah, she followed, you know, railroads, you know, because there'd be camps of people building the railroads. Mm-hmm. So she would mm. follow that. You know, and end up in these boom towns. Uh, she would also follow gold rushes. Mm-hmm. So, like Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, she went up there for for the gold rush that happened there. Sometimes she would go out looking for gold. She was never successful, of course. Mm. A lot Didn't of people weren't. Work. Yeah, most were not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, some people became very rich, and then they some were did. like, yeah. Most pissed it away. If they did became become rich, they pissed it away. That's what mm. I would do. Yeah. <laughs> it was easy to do. <laughs> the whole towns that were built around these places were designed yeah. to take to your s- money from you. To spend your gold money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Mine and the miners, remember? Mm-hmm. Yep. She was even possibly, possibly rumored to be as far away as Dawson. Mm. From the, uh, you, you might remember from the Klondike yeah, Gold yeah, Rush yeah, yeah. episodes. Mm. And Skagway. Alaska. Wow. Know, I've been there. Have you? have. On a cruise, yeah. Wow. Ah, did you see Soapy Smith's grave? No, no. I don't think so. I don't remember. You're like, I don't know the fuck that I is. I don't know who the <laughs> fuck Soapy Smith is. Yeah. 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 We, were, we weren't there. We, you know, it was like a day because it was a cruise or whatever, mm-hmm. so. There's one spot to go in Skagway, Alaska for me. Yeah. And, and that's, that's Soapy where... Smith's grave. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're, I can tell, they're in those little small towns, at least the ones the cruise goes, the yeah. cruises go to, they really are trying to sell you a lot of like gemstones that they claim yeah. were they uh-huh. claim they found in Alaska, but we went yeah. on we did like a a ride, I don't is it a gondola or like a ski lift type Yeah, yeah. gondola? Yeah, yeah, ride and the lady who was like d- giving like the tour, she straight up was like, Yeah, they they didn't find those gemstones in Alaska. Like no. you're gonna get a lot of people trying to sell yeah. you Alaskan gemstones. That's, and, a, dude, that's a straight up scam. The, the town yeah. was founded by it, it, fucking con artists. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and it's continued to this yeah. day. Like these these what even Seattle these wild west oh, towns yeah. like yeah. like even today you can't be trusted. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah. Like, yeah. Se- yeah. Seattle was founded by con men. Yeah, yeah. and idiots and idiots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Idiotic That's con very men. true. It's it is a very hilarious true. Hilarious story. Idiotic con men. 
We gotta do the yeah. I don't. I I don't think you guys have done a history of Seattle episode, right? Uh, no, things are uh, gears I, are churning. Uh, okay. I want to do it for a live show. Oh in, yeah, yeah, in, yeah, 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 yeah. At, yeah. at the rendezvous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that the founding be... of Seattle. Yes. So, God, it's a hilarious story. I bet. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Anyway, so yeah, she she quite possibly went to the Klondike Gold Rush and quite possibly like you know went up the made that whole trek that that really brutal trek all the way up to Dawson. You know, mm-hmm. how she made it up there, I don't know. But, like, that's a testament, you know, alone to what a frontiers woman she was. Yeah. I mean, that's not that's not an easy feat. I wouldn't go up there. No, God, no. But she knew what she was doing, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Most of those people did not know what they were doing, you know? I was reading about uh, people climbing Everest the other day. Yeah. And I, yeah, I was like, fuck that shit. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with you. I was listening to a podcast the other day where they were talking about Everest, like, extensively. That's so funny. And I'm thinking, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I can do that. But how fucking cool would it be to say Say. that you you can just say anything? So, (laughs) yeah, but no one's gonna believe that about me. (laughs) No. (laughs) But there's this, uh, this, I'm, I'm not gonna put it into context. Just, you know, but I, I know this guy. Who has climbed Everest several times? Okay. And he handed me an air, an oxygen canister that's mm-hmm. been to the top. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just crazy. They use those things over and over again, I guess. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. before they can't use them anymore. Yeah. But like, you know, holding something in your hand that mm, you know somebody's taken been. all the way up there. You know, it's kind of mm. crazy. You know, you feel I the c- vibes. Yeah. I couldn't handle <laughs> <It's true>. the, <laughs> the altitude sickness. Like I even couldn't. like I, yeah. I practically live at sea level. Yeah. You know? right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, yeah. Can't, I can't do it. There's something they were saying on the podcast. I think they like looked it up and they said something like 800 people climb it a year and then like f- about four die a year. Yeah, that yeah. Sounds right. That's There's pretty a, low, actually. I, I thought it was I, higher than that. I think I read this about. Out of 800? 800? I, I think I read this. Like, percent. high. That's 0.5%. That still seems high. Four, four a year. Four out of 800. I heard there. Fuck. I mean, it's covered in dead bodies, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you can't. They're like, I'm not going up there. Yeah, fuck that. Mm-hmm. But then they're, oh my gosh, I just realized that's a perfect way to cryo freeze yourself for free. <laughs> How are you going to wake back up? Whenever in the future, when the technology becomes a thing where they can wake people back up after, after like Walt Disney is yeah. <laughs> famously but, but they not to, like, keep your heart and brain intact. I mean, how is that? It, they probably are intact if it's all frozen. Maddie. Because you can see the Maddie. bodies. They're not decaying. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> that is a fantastic idea. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to be honest. Like, it's, and then it's like, obviously, when they get to the point of being able to un, unfreeze people, they're going to go to Everest and they're going to get the people from Everest because those are the obviously the best people that the, the have best ever ones. lived. Except yeah. for the fact that they actually like, died on the way. Are there yeah. dead people in Antarctica? You know, like some of them, oh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Get some of Shackleton's buddies back. You yeah, know? He didn't lose a single man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. You're right. He didn't. No. But, uh, you know, some of like uh, Scott's crew maybe mm. you can find him out there it'd be impossible to find those dead bodies yeah impossible they'll probably just they'll probably just do it to disney and move on with yeah. their lives you gotta wait for climate change <laughs> he's yeah. gonna have this sweet like cyborg body because they only saved yeah. his head yeah like futurama mm-hmm. <laughs> he's like nixon in futurama right yeah. and he's gonna run for president <laughs> yeah he's and gonna everyone's like, gonna vote for him. he's super yeah. anti-semitic yeah yeah it turns out in the 1880s she also uh because she what, her friend of a friend, right? Through a friend of a friend, which is basically like Wild Bill Hickok through her association with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, she became acquainted with Buffalo Bill Cody. Ah. She negotiated a contract to go and be in his Wild West show, you know, mm. riding around. And, She's like, this one's for Cody. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she uh, rubbed the lotion on her skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bo- yeah. My reference was uh, True Romance. Right, right. <laughs> And hers was, was a little more obscure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get yours. I just went straight out. I, I, I didn't really think anyone would get mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still I said it hooks. anyway. <laughs> uh, Sometimes yeah. I like to say really obscure shit like that, <laughs> just and you just know that one person, one person listening is like, li- oh. their eyes lit up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true romance. <laughs> true romance. Like, yeah. I mean, Silence of <laughs> Lambs. Yeah, but uh, yeah. true romance. The only thing I really remember from true rom- romance is the Christopher Walken. 
you're a cantaloupe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So she, you know, rode around, she shot the gun, you know, for Eastern audiences, they ate it up. She told her stories, you know, her tall tales of what she did. People ate it up, but she didn't like it very much. Um, She drank a lot, and Mm -hmm. uh, Buffalo, you know, she really became too much to handle for Buffalo Bill. So he gave her some money and sent her back out west and was like, sorry, I can't deal with this. He was too busy, (laughs) Buffalo and Buffaloes. Yeah, yeah. And buffalo and criminals. <laughs> buffalo. Oh, right. Because, bu- yeah. yeah. Buffalo, 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 yeah, buffalo, buffalo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, you... said something. <laughs> There's more on that later. I promise. Oh, okay. I promise. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now, in 1895, she returned to Den- Deadwood after a 16 year absence. And uh, she was welcomed back, honestly, as sort of a familiar face. The Blackwood, uh, the Black Hills Daily Times uh, had this to say about her when she got back into town. Quote, She has always been known for her friendliness, generosity, and happy, cordial manner. I want to put parentheses right there. Mm-hmm. When she's not drinking. <laughs> yeah, when uh, she's sober. <laughs> yeah. It didn't matter to her whether a person was rich or poor, white or black, or what their circumstances were, Calamity Jane was just the same to all. That I do buy. I do buy that as well. (laughs) Her purse was always open to help a hungry fellow, and she was one of the first to proffer her help in cases of sickness, accidents, or any distress. End quote. Yeah. So when she caused it. (laughs) Right, yeah. I mean, she'd get drunk and raise hell. Right, yeah. But... (laughs) Yeah, she's... Doesn't matter how if you're rich or poor, black or yeah. white. If you don't have tobacco, and she asks, yeah. she will call you a racist. Like. Yeah. There's a, there's a great scene in the TV show Deadwood where she's helping this like wounded man. He's dying, and she's gonna give him a drink of water, but her canteen's full of whiskey. Mm-hmm. Nice. And she has to dump it out to go down the river and get whiskey, and then wow. bring it back. But you mean the, water? Yeah, yeah. To bring water back. And by it's the like time, that, with that whiskey river. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a Willie Nelson song. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, when she brings the water back, the guy's dead. Mm. You know? She's like, God yeah. damn it. That's yeah. a waste of good whiskey. Her, her character is so good in that show. You know, it's so good. I've never seen it, but... Uh, I've heard it's... Yeah, people are... I've people never heard anybody not show. like that show. Yeah, it's same. very good. It's very good. Well, I like it if I don't like Western... Yeah, shows really. Yeah, okay. yeah you'll like it. It's, it's a modern that, yeah. TV show. You'll you'll love it. I've been thinking yeah. about watching. They it, updated actually. the really cursing good. to modern cursing. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, there there's a couple of quotes like like she says fuck a lot, you mm-hmm. know. And there's a couple of quotes attributed to Calamity Jane, mm-hmm. and one of them is, "Yeah, I'm drunk. What the fuck is it to you?" Mm-hmm. Or something like that. You <laughs> know. Yeah. So I don't know if th- those are real. I don't. You know. Yeah. But she cursed a lot. That's definitely something we know. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know if it was just saying damn or hell or goddamn a lot. Right. Because those were really bad curse words back in the day. Right. Mm-hmm. So it, it could have been that tame, but it could also, she could have also said fuck a lot. Mm-hmm. Right. So, right. There you go. She also, in the 1880s, just before this, a little after this, C.E. Cole and Middleton opened their very first dime museums. Mm. Now, it, anything that was considered like the dime store or di- mm. dime novel stars or whatever, they would bring them out kind of like Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, and they could come over and ride horses and shoot guns and tell them their stories. Kind of same mm. deal. But they would tour a couple of different cities. Mm-hmm. And so she signed on with one of these, didn't last long because of her drinking, mm-hmm. and was sent back out west. Yeah. You know, so she did that for a while. And dime museums, they were seen as like, like, lowbrow entertainment. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, it wasn't, like, you know, P.T. Barnum dab- dabbled in, in dye museums. Yeah. And, and he was, he kind of had a glorified dye museum mm-hmm. in, in New York, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, people were really dabbling in that kind of stuff, and, and mm-hmm. she absolutely took part. And, and it was during one of these dime museum tours in the... Uh, late 1890s, where she sat down with somebody and dictated her autobiography. Oh. Right? Because she was illiterate, of course. Mm -hmm. So her autobiography, which is full of 
stuff that we now know are inaccuracies and cool. tall tales. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we know all this from her. And certain things you can trust, right? Like when she said, yeah, I had a son, but he's dead. You know, he died. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, that I buy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? She lies about a lot of things, but not Yeah, not there's a certain dead baby. things that you just can't you yeah. know, get around. Yeah. Why would they lie about that? Right. You know? There's no point, yeah. Didn't, wasn't Norm McDonald's, he wrote a book that was kind of like that, like, yeah. completely like, it was like autobiographical, but constantly full of shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. love him so it's much. Entertaining. I was yeah. watching that clip the other day where he was on um, Larry King. That, sorry yeah. to go on a tangent, no, but okay. he's like talks about. He's like, I'm a cl- closeted homosexual, and he, Larry King's <laughs> like, like, what? What? He's like, so you're gay? He's like, hey, there, hey there, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm closeted. <laughs> but he said it on TV. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like being closeted is like a, like a state of being that you tell people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love him so much. Uh, that's so weird. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the name of her autobiography was The Adventures of Calamity Jane by herself. Mm-hmm. That's by, great. You know, not by herself, as in she's yeah, alone. She wrote it. By herself. Right? I like that. Yeah. That's what I'm going to name my book. Yeah. The Adventures of Calamity Christ- Jane by herself. <laughs> yeah. By Christopher Wheaton. By Christopher Wheaton. But yeah. it's going to be my autobiography and it's going to be plagiarized mm. word for word <laughs> from Norm MacDonald's autobiography. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be very confusing. It's yeah. probably not going to sell very well. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about in this book. But when, you know, when she had to go back out west again, and she really didn't. She didn't like the the lifestyle of being exhibited either. Mm. You know, she she wanted to do her own thing, you know. And so when she went back, she was basically living off of sales of her autobiography. She had a bunch of copies of those and she'd sell those and pictures of herself. She would perform menial labor, you know, laundry, same thing she kind of always did. Mm. She her her alcoholism became worse. She never really accumulated anything. Like, if she ever bought, like, an inn to mm. run or a saloon or anything, she would, much like Wyatt Earp or whatever, they'd sell it and then and then leave. The Oops. purpose of, mm. of it is to sell it. Yeah. Yeah, you buy it. You're flipping these houses. Yeah, right. you're flipping. You're flipping these things. And, like, Jessie, like, her daughter, like, the whole time, like, she left her with some family. She mm. left her in a convent. You, the, um, you said this Jessie girl... Yeah, didn't her make it. No, she she did oh, make it. Is there more about that? Yes, there is. Oh, uh, she grew up to be Richard Nixon's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Nixon. Pat Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> he married his sister. She kind of had to settle down a little bit. Her drinking never slowed, but she had to settle down a little bit. And uh, she was found by an Eastern reporter mm. uh, named Josephine Brake. Oh, uh, that lady. Tracked her down. Yeah, and this it's probably why she talked to her. But she was living in this shack. Cool. And people called, you know, they called it at the time, like, oh, she was in a house of ill repute. It's like, well, yeah, she kind of always was. But mm. it was a shack that they actually found her in. And she was living with... It was with, a shack of ill repute. <laughs> and she was living with an African-American woman. Cool. Mm-hmm. And... There may that may have been the reason why they called it House of Ill Repute is because two women were living together, mm. and that's weird. And one of them and was a person of color. Exactly, and they were like, "This must be some kind this of is, House of Ill Repute." Or well, something. that sounds racist. There's nothing good happening yeah. in that and house. It was racist. You're like, yeah, yeah, it was racist to consider that consider it that way. These yes. people were racist. Yeah, turns out. <laughs> most racist of them. and misogynist. Except for Calamity Jazz, she didn't seem to care. You know, she didn't give a fuck. No, she didn't give a shit at all. Um, I'm too busy drinking to be racist. Yeah, and that's something you can I can admire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They they Priorities. found her they, mm. when they found her. She was ill. She was not. Her health was failing, and she looked like she was just intoxicated from just a weeks long bender. Mm. Mm. You know, when she spoke with Josephine Brake, she cried a lot. Mm. She was like, people don't really care about me anymore. All I really care about is my daughter. Um, I want her to be a respectable woman and get a good education. And I just want her to do well. And, like, she cried and whatnot. And, like, you know, I've, I've seen my prime. 
kind of a deal. Mm. You know, she's in her late 40s. Mm. She looked much older. Right. Um, On account of the hard living. Hard living, yeah. (laughs) Alcohol. Hard living, yeah. Chewing tobacco. Alcohol. Chewing tobacco. She'll give you that. That jaw cancer. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. No, they take out your jaw. Was yeah. alcohol at this time like stronger generally? I wonder than like depends than, on what kind of booze you're drinking. Right. Like straight you know? moonshine is probably. It probably tasted yeah. like shit. It probably did. I mean, it tastes like whiskey. shit now. <laughs> I'm <laughs> in my opinion. Some she of drank it. whiskey and beer. Yeah. That's what she drank. Okay. I wonder uh, what. Oh man, beer back then. Yeah. They had not perfected it. <laughs> Well, and and getting cold beer would have oh, been right. rough business. Oh, yeah. yeah. They didn't have refrigeration. <gasps> oh, my God. Ew, uh, they were drinking yeah. warm beer warm, that probably wasn't filtered or beer. anything. It was probably mm, just yeah. full of nat. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure there's a... So it uh, takes a lot to become an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm pretty sure there's a high-end brewery in Seattle. That probably still Ballard. makes it... It like, makes it exactly like yeah. that. And people are like, oh, this is the tr- this is yeah. real. This is the true this is real Western beer. beer. Uh, yeah. From some fucking... A thousand percent. Yeah. <laughs> They're like pride themselves off of making it like they did in 1850. And yeah. it's like, you don't have to do that. They pretend anymore, they like guys. it and have a man bun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and some complicated beard. Mm-hmm. And pretend that there's they can taste flavors in it that they that aren't there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tastes yeah. like raisins. Notes of you can apricot. really like taste the oat. You're like, no, that's mm. just straight up moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're drinking rubbing alcohol. There's yeah. shit floating in my beer because oh. it's unfiltered. Oh, yeah. oh. The rat adds character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The dead rat. There are actually notes of rat shit. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm tasting. Yeah. <laughs> but Josephine Brake offered Martha room and board in Buffalo, New York, if she'd come back to Buffalo and basically put you know, put on display as Calamity Jane and tell her story and do kind of the same deal. She's been a Buffalo Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo Buffalo yeah. Buffalo. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're like, there's more Buffalo. In oh, this. yeah. Buffalo's all the way down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was uh, mainly for, she, yeah, it, she was a novelty. Mm-hmm. Um, it was for Colonel Frederick T. Cummins Indian Congress at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York. Mm. And like, you know, Geronimo was there, mm. you know, uh, I think Red Cloud went there one time oh, after the war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. after. Because, uh, I mean, you know, Martha's been in the Black Hills. You mm-hmm. know, the war is over. She went to Fort Phil Kearney at one point, mm-hmm. by the way. But, of course, it was after yeah, these yeah, things yeah, happened. Yeah. It would have been way too dangerous to go up there beforehand. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if she you would have made it back out, you know. And on the train ride there, they're like, don't let her just drink, mm-hmm. you know. They're like, only let her drink, and I think this is so funny, only let her drink if she asks for a drink. Okay. Which is stupid. Yeah. And so she asked for a drink They're like, fuck. Often. <laughs> no like, shit. How yeah. is she going to drink? If she doesn't ask for unless a drink. Right. <laughs> I mean, unless she already has it, are you supposed yeah. to stop her from that? I think, it, yeah, I think just, like, don't let her carry, like, whiskey on her person. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, but that's But she's what like, I'm give me a drink, and, like, they just would. They're like, well, that was the rules. You can't yeah. deny a woman a drink. <laughs> it's illegal is, uh, at that time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think uh, Josephine uh, Brake really knew what she was getting herself into, because, like, she'd become, you know, Calamity Jane had that name for a reason. She became, like, unhinged and, like, right. out of control and hard to deal with. Right. You know, oh, and yeah, when she drank, she just wouldn't stop. You yeah. Know? And unfortunately, bartenders had to serve you. They had you know? to. Especially <laughs> when you wave how, a gun around. It doesn't matter how drunk you Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> They're like, yeah, they didn't have mass 12s back then. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Horror's license. I, I think that's a Washington state Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Um, just that that's a poor. I mean, I think license. there's probably some kind of liquor. I don't know if they call it that way. For every state. No, I know. But like it's a called different. License. Yeah. 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 So when she got to Buffalo, she really didn't like being put on display. She was tired all the time. She just didn't have the energy anymore. Ugh, you're telling and, me. Uh, <laughs> Buffalo Bill was there. Yeah. And in Buffalo. In Buffalo, and she she went up to him and told him, "Quote." Bill, they got me buffaloed. <laughs> so you could say, Buffalo Bill, they got me buffaloed in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is kind of like, yeah, how, that's, how the sentence yeah. works yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the really long Buffalo sentence. Yeah. <laughs> so once again, Buffalo Bill helped her out 
gave her some money and sent her back west to Montana is where she was really going to go. But it was slow going because the money he gave her, she drank away, you know, and she didn't tell Josephine break. She was leaving. She just left. And so like, jo- Josephine was like, come back. Like, I'll get, you know, she's like, no, fuck that. You're making more money off of me than mm-hmm. I'm making. So fuck that. I'm not doing that anymore. Mm-hmm. So she just went back and she would get so fucked up at like these towns along the railway, you know, along the stations that like. They found her asleep on a train one time and, like, took her off the train. And, like, one time they didn't know because she was not communicating. And they threw in a poorhouse. Hmm. And she was in a poorhouse and had to get out of the poorhouse. And people all across the West found out that Calamity Jane was in the poorhouse. Mm-hmm. So they took up a collection for her and, and gave her some money. They started a GoFundMe. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Basically. A GoFundMe, yeah. And like... they gave her the money and... She took it to the bar and bought everyone drinks and partied all night, and all that money was gone. <laughs> you know, cool. that's what she would do. Yeah. Anytime she had money, she blew it all, right. you know, at the bar. And, yeah, then she was just drunk again and going from one place to another, you yeah. know. Did and she gamble at all? Not, not really. Mm-hmm. Her drinking was her thing. Yeah. Uh, she did gamble. Everyone did. Uh, she dealt mm-hmm. faro. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah to, to, to make money. Yeah, drinking was where she spent her money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That that was really her thing. She when she did make it back to the Black Hills in the spring of 1903, that's where she went to work for a brothel owner, Madame Dora Dufran. She wasn't a prostitute by this point. She mm-hmm. was doing laundry for the brothel's girls. She's right? past her prime. Yeah. Uh, but she, some, these are the people she knows. Some like, guys are into it. You know I mean, she's, mm. she's, these people are on the, you know, edge of society. They're fringe class mm-hmm. people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So she knows the fringe people. So she works with the fringe people. You right. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, she worked in a laundry. She was back in Deadwood and just basically drinking away, you know, and like they talked about, you know, where's Jesse? And people think that, most people think that she gave her to another family mm-hmm. because I think she realized that she could never give her daughter what she wanted for her yeah. daughter. Mm-hmm. Like she couldn't make sure that she was, she would become educated right. and a de- quote unquote decent woman, you know, respectable woman in that age. So she gave her up, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and Jesse kind of forgot who her real mother was later in life, mm-hmm. you know, That'd be wild, though, to be like, yeah. your Find mom was later. Calamity Jane. <laughs> yeah. 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 There there was a time in, in 1903 where the these these two guys, they had a, a camera, you know, like one of those. It was a slightly more mobile than mm-hmm. like the earlier cameras, mm-hmm. but they wanted to take her picture. And when they found her, she was hammered, you know? Yeah. And uh, they were actually looking for, at at first they were looking for Wild Bill's grave, Mm -hmm. Wild Bill Hickok's grave. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever been to Deadwood, I've never been, but the the cemetery is actually up a a steep hill, pretty Mm -hmm. steep hill. And it's all paved now, but if you ever go to go see Wild Bill's grave, know that you're going to have to do some walking. Mm -hmm. Um, It is a steep incline. It's kind of up there. It's kind of a hike. Mm -hmm. Uh, In this time, there was no paved You know, Mm -hmm. you kind of had to wind your way up, and it got really narrow in places. Yeah. You know? And uh, so they asked about it, and uh, even though she was wasted, she was like, I'll show you where Wild Bill's grave is. Was this kind of a boat hill situation? Yeah, yeah. Well, they had an original cemetery Mm -hmm. uh, that was outside of the town, and they called it a boot hill. Okay. Um, But this was actually... uh, The name of this cemetery is actually... Mount Moriah Cemetery mm. in Deadwood. Okay. They were like, are you sure? Are you sure you're okay to go up there? She's like, don't want me to yeah. do. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, something like, young feller, if there's a day where I can't walk up to Wild Bill's grave, that should be the last day for me. <laughs> Shoot me Uh-oh. in the head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, like, she takes them up there, like, leads the way, and they're worried the whole time. Like, she's she's swaying from one way to the other, and, like, mm-hmm. they're worried she's going to fall down this hill. Right. You know, and, fu- and like, nope, she was okay, you mm-hmm. know? So they went all the way up there. His grave, by the way, his, his marker, his grave marker has gone through a lot of different iterations. Yeah. And if you notice, there's they do take the picture of her eventually. And 
the marker is actually, you're, you're only seeing half of it. It was vandalized so much that, like, it used to have his head, like a bust right. of him. It was vandalized so much, you know, people wanted pieces of it. Even by 1903, that that whole head part was gone. Mm. Mm-hmm. And so she's uh, standing in front of it. They hand her a, a, a fake flower. You're you right. Know, for the for the picture. And she goes, I can't take no picture with no fake flower in front of Wild Bill's grave. I need a real flower. And so they were like, okay. And they looked around and found yeah. a real flower and gave the real flower to her. And she, you know, she's in, in a dress, but uh, she has her Stetson, her like signature Stetson hat. Mm-hmm. She has it on and she's holding the flower and she's tipping the hat back in front of the grave. And it's a great picture. I love that picture. It turns out it was like a couple of weeks before she actually died. Mm-hmm. Um, it'd be the last picture ever taken of her. And you can really tell in her face, like mm. she's ooh, a goner booze. Yeah. Have, has really yeah. taken a, you know, taken a toll on her. Mm, It'll yeah. do that. Yeah. You can look up the picture. If you just Google calamity yeah. Jane, it's, it's, I'm looking at it now and yeah, yeah they had a, so they had a fence around the grave. Yeah. Oh, that's the one. Mm-hmm. Cause like it was vandalized. Yeah. I feel like that wouldn't really prevent, <laughs> did that yeah. much. It's not like it's that big of a fence. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of zoomed in her face. She looks wasted. She looks rough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, she, she looks rough. She was wasted. Yeah, she, she was trashed. hammered. Yeah, <laughs> she's like. Well, yeah. she has that sort of type of face. You can tell people who drink a ton. Yeah, get that look like that type of face. You know, mm. it's like what alcohol just sort of yeah. does to your face. You what, know? Big red nose. Big red yeah. no- well, and you get like those sort of thin lips yeah. and like there's something about the eyes that, you know, it looks more gaunt, you know? Yeah. Just way alcohol face, you know? You know, people that, you know, do meth, you know, get meth face and mm-hmm. things right, like that. You know? Right, 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 right. Uh, just, you know, it's, it's what a life of heavy, heavy living will do to you. Yep. Now, in late July, she was traveling by an ore train to Terry, South Dakota, hmm. a small mining village near Deadwood, and it was reported that she had been drinking heavily while on board the train and had fallen ill. I mean, uh, I feel like that's not news. Yeah, no, it's not. But the you'd, you'd report if she wasn't. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The conductor S. G. Tillett uh, carried her off the train. She would passed out on the train. And uh, a bartender secured a room for her at the Callaway Hotel in, in Terry. And they summoned a physician. But the physician was a long ways away, you know. Mm. And in between that time, her condition just deteriorate, deteriorated. And she died mm. at that hotel on Saturday, August 1st, 1903. One day off from the anniversary of Wild Bill's death. Because he was he was killed in on August second, mm-hmm. uh, eighteen seventy six. Ah, um, the centennial. Yeah, yeah. Of so, the United States of America. Yeah, they think she died from inflammation of the bowels yeah. and maybe pneumonia. That again, from mm-hmm. heavy drinking. Mm-hmm. Um, That's how my cat died. Yeah, from heavy drinking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> Major alcohol. He did have yeah. inflammation of the bowels, yeah. though, but I think it, it was cancer. Yeah, right. he was riddled with it. He was riddled with cancer. Uh, she was anywhere from 47 to 52 years old. I've okay. heard people say, ah, she was 52. And then I heard other people say, yeah. ah, she was 47. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know what to believe, honestly. On her, on her age, I really don't know what, what to believe. What does Philomena Kunk say? That's the only... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only source I trust. Yeah. They had her only possessions, her suitcase with her mm-hmm. dresses and whatnot, sent somewhere, you know, to, like, to the friends. friends. <laughs> and a crowd of people turned out uh, for, her, for her funeral, many of whom would never have associated with her at all while she, she was alive. She just liked those dime novels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she, again, people knew of her, you know, but they didn't want anything to do with her while she was alive. You know, mm-hmm. just uh, better go out for Calamity's... Uh, you know, her funeral. A F- bunch of fake fuckers. Yeah, yeah. right. Fucking <laughs> Clout fake. chasers. Fairweather yeah. friends, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Things are going great. I, like, because she's dead, which is better than <laughs> her alternative. Yeah. So Martha Jane Canary, also known as Calamity Jane, was buried at Mount Moriah Cemetery in Deadwood, South Colorado, 
next to Wild Bill Hickok. Aww. And the reason why are there's two reasons. He lost a bet. Maybe. Well, <laughs> the first reason is that it, it was her dying wish. She mm -hmm. Supposedly her dying wish was bury me next to Wild Bill. Wow, she really was cool. like obsessed with him. Yeah. Uh, the second one is that the townspeople, when they were trying to figure out what to do with her body, were like, wouldn't it be funny mm -hmm. if we buried her next to Wild Bill? Because she loved that guy, yeah. and she wa and he wanted nothing to do with her. It'd be like a last joke well, on worst, Wild Bill. Yeah. Well, the worst part of that <laughs> oh my God. is that uh, in the afterlife, w what happens when you do that is uh, he she'll be uh, in the room, like in the apartment next door. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Just n one wall over, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I imagine this infinite like apartment complex. There's yeah. no exits or anything. No, yeah. It's just that's yeah. it's an infinite. Yeah. It's like the back rooms. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Online. Yeah. yeah. Except it's an apartment complex. That's that's heaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fluorescent lighting. Yeah. You got to call your landlord to come fix the sink. Yeah. He never shows up. <sighs> yeah. It's heaven. Yeah. And he's, uh, <laughs> Even though his son's a carpenter. Yeah, yeah. Right. Come on, man. Get him up here. Fix my door. <laughs> I knocked well, the landlord is in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was so angry. The landlord's a reanimated corpse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, or somebody that like committed suicide. Yeah. Because right? you got to like go into like the. He's an RA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fucking. Oh, uh, <laughs> Ernest Hemingway is an RA. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say about suicides is they become civil servants in the yeah. afterlife. Yeah, no, that's what I was Beetle talking juice. about. Yeah, Beetlejuice. Yeah, yeah. I, I got your reference. Yeah. So Ernest Hemingway is like the super or yeah. something. <laughs> it's like, and God damn it. God damn it. Yeah. He's uh, drinking booze. They have booze. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They gotta. Yeah. If you have Ernest Hemingway and Calamity Jane staying in the same building. Mm hmm. You're gonna need it. Yeah. So yeah, who knows? But uh, it is kind of funny that she is buried next to Wild Bill. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. But you can see both of them if you do go up there. You know. And again, it's a trek, but uh, it'd be interesting it's to go. My up there Everest. One, one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old people do make it up there. It's not like that bad. Everest. No, no, Mount no. Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But I think some people don't realize that it is kind of a hike, you right. know, before they go. Just be prepared. Yeah, you they know? need to build a gondola. You get yeah. there and you're like, oh, God, And, and if you're not a biker, don't go to Deadwood during biker season. Because oh, it I is literally bikers. full of bikers. Oh, it's bikers probably love so it. loud. They love it. They love like, South Dakota. Vroom, 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 vroom. I mean, Sturgis, you know, it's all oh, yeah. Sturgis yeah. You know? is yeah. It's known for that. Yeah. A, yeah, yeah, totally. On a yeah. steel horse, they ride. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they take all of these Wild West people and kind of apply it to themselves. It's part of their, their culture. Yeah, that's cool. It's fine. Um, I'm not a biker, so I don't give a fuck, but whatever. Um, what? <laughs> they can do their thing. I don't give a shit. Now, in heavy caveats here, because the, the myth building begins, like, like, it keeps going, right? And in 1941, a 68-year-old woman named Jean McCormick... Hickok, mm -hmm. or at least what she considered her, herself to be named. Her real name was Jean McCormick. Mm -hmm. uh, she went on CBS, uh, a CBS radio program uh, called We the People to announce that she was in fact the long lost daughter of Calamity Jane and Wild Bill Hickok. Wow. Okay. Uh, and she supposedly had a trove of all of this documentation to prove it. Okay. Right. Now, here's what she had. She had a bunch of handwritten letters by Calamity Jane and a diary by Calamity Jane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, she was illiterate. There's no possible way she could have right, written those. Right. Yeah, anybody None could have written None at all. That. Right? So, handwriting experts, you know, came mm -hmm. through and they were like, well, the letters in the diary do match. Mm. That they were written by the same person. Yeah, yeah. the same person <laughs> fucking wrote all this shit. Yeah, and one of them even said that the diary was written uh, in one sitting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could see how so you could you could uh, analyze that by handwriting. Yeah. yeah, you could tell it's leading yeah. to a scam. Yeah, that's why and you got to switch pens in the middle of right, when you're right? trying to fake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to fake Lamy Jane's break. diary. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sleep on it a little yeah, bit. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, she was, you know, she was a. a like a spinstery school teacher, right? Mm -hmm. And who may have been orphaned, much like Calamity Jane, and mm. she wanted so bad to be connected to somebody, 
you know. So they put her on the news because mm-hmm. of this? Yep. Well, and people I, believed it. Is it. What was this, a slow news day? There was a <laughs> war going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like people, the biggest war. <laughs> people, because the war was on, people were really interested oh. in the Wild West because they could really idolize oh. the founders of oh. our country. and in, in These the heroes. Sort of that, yeah. yeah. In Vietnam, it all kind of went away. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Well, the, there, th- I think the disillusionment yeah. of... Yeah. Uh, yeah, the American sort of like badass, you yeah. know, yeah. cowboy fucking killing right. Indians. Yeah, that yeah. It, it really hit in yeah. the, during that period of time. Yeah. yeah, and now you know it's it's more of an uncomfortable truth now. Right. Yeah. You know, than than it is. Well, it's like you got. It's not hero worship. You got to be honest with your history. You, you know? have to be honest about it. Uh, you know, and otherwise you're not telling real history, right? Yeah. If it's just there to pat you on the back, right. mm-hmm. you know, keep right. that in mind. And she, yeah, so, and and here's the funny part, too, is every time, so, like, she would go around to, like, old timers in Fort Laramie or Cheyenne or Deadwood and ask them about her her supposed mother. And these old timers would be like, yeah, I remember her, and yeah, she did have a daughter, you know. Mm, But people don't know about Jessie really yet. Right. And Jessie doesn't really know about her mother really yet, Mm -hmm. you know, and... So there was all of this sort of confirmation bias where she really wanted to believe that she was the daughter of Calamity Jane, even though she was faking it herself. And so, like, all of a sudden there's all these, oh, loose pages from the diary that are coming out. Oh, I found another one. Yeah. And and it's like, (laughs) see, this person confirms it. Because they'd be like, this person in Fort Laramie, Wyoming, talk to them. They're good people. Because that was one person that confirmed her story. And then anyone that doubted her, they're like... Oh, and if anyone says this, uh, it's because this, this, and this. I and just, then, you know, like... I think it's a weird coincidence that she would find somebody who confirmed it, and then she found the one paper that connected right? to that. and that's what happened, yeah. Yeah. And there were people that really wanted to believe it. Mm-hmm. And she, honestly, she kind of fucked up research on Calamity Jane for a very long time, mm. because her diary was... People sort of forgot that it was fraudulent, 100% fraudulent. Mm-hmm. And parts of it, like stories and pieces of it, right. made it into like actual actual studies on Calamity Jane's life, yeah. mm-hmm. um, which, not good, it fucks it up. So like there's right. a lot of stuff where it's like, oh shit, is this a Gene McCormick story? Mm-hmm. You know, because it's not even at all true, you know? Right. Hmm. So we can thank her for that. Yeah. I mean... Well, so she wasn't getting money from this. She was just, she was just trying to get attention. Well, she was trying to get money. Oh, so mm. she did get money from it. She was trying to. Right. She was trying to get like an allotment from the government to be like, "I'm Calamity James' daughter. Give me money." Oh my god! Know? Since when does the government pay you for being the <laughs> daughter of know. a celebrity? That's what or she was trying for. I um, don't know. Wow, interesting theory. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And of course, you know, she would have been born ten years. After Wild Bill was dead, so there's no way she could have even been related to Wild <laughs> she Bill. She barely even tried, I yeah. feel like, to, to do and make this real. But she did meet Wild Bill's ancestors, okay. like his family, and they welcomed her into their family, which honestly, good on them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they must be really nice people <laughs> because she was like, wow, they, they, they're just so welcoming and so nice. And then, you know, so she got what she wanted. Because they're from the Midwest, probably. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) She got kind of what she wanted. You know, Mm -hmm. she got kind of a family and and some sort of recognition. It was a total fraud. Yeah. You know, total fraud. Mm -hmm. Um, And that really fucked with history. Like, this one person just claiming to be someone she's not really fucked with history and the study of history, at least around here for a very long time. Yeah. uh, To take all that stuff out. And something that, by the way, something that uh, she claims in her diaries of Calamity Jane is that Calamity Jane had her favorite horse. I just love this. Her favorite horse was named Satan. Yes. Nice. Which is awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> in uh, Red Dead Redemption, I didn't even know that, but yeah. I named all... I, I did have a character. I, I think I had a... I'm gonna, I, I named all my horses after demons, so I had like Beelzebub, I had yeah. uh, Baphomet, yeah. Lucifer, I might have had a Satan even. Yeah, yeah. Moloch, it's I had a Moloch. Moloch. Nice. Which I brought up that in the... Uh, mine, mine were named after Roman generals. Yeah, that's cool yeah. too. 
Anyway. Um, uh, and by the way, real quick, by the way, Sadie in uh, Red Dead is heavily... Based oh, off of Clay. Oh, it's totally. Clay I don't know why I didn't pick that up. Wear, wearing the buckskins, cursing, drinking, you know, mm-hmm. being sort of a outlaw type figure. Oh, cool. That's, that's close, you know. I, I oh, love that It's character. reminiscent. Sadie's yeah. one of my favorite characters yeah. in that game. And uh, I know that some people don't like that character, and... They can go to hell. They can go fuck themselves, turn <laughs> off the show, I don't want you listening to it. Because um, I have a slight disagreement on a video game character. Yeah, let people like and dislike things. Yeah, I don't, it's fine. 100%. Don't you get mad at people for disliking or liking affect things. affect you, then, yeah. Yeah, I just really like that yeah. character. I... I, yeah. I think Unless they, you like Nazis, then you can go go to hell. Yeah, you know? <laughs> there like, are exceptions. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm talking about a fucking video game here. Yeah, right. video games, books, movies, who fascist gives ideology. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't think I said ideology. That. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I was Idiot. like, how many beers Idiotology. did I have after? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm a regular uh, calamity Jane. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah! Now, as far as movies and TV. Calamity Jane has been represented so many times in movies and TV and in our media mm-hmm. that she's become ubiquitous. Was she ever in Looney Tunes? There's probably been a representation right. of her in Looney Tunes that, that would not surprise me. She's She solicits Yosemite Sam. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she becomes infatuated with Yosemite yeah. Sam. But also, Yosemite <laughs> Sam wants nothing to do with it. Yeah, 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 I do yeah, like exactly. Yosemite <laughs> Sam specifically. That, that name is based <laughs> off of these kind of people. Yeah, yeah. You know, Arkansas Tom, right. yeah. Buffalo Bill, Colorado, yeah. Charles. Colorado, Colorado yeah. Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Yosemite you know, Sam. Uh, yeah. Fucking uh, South Cleveland uh, Timmy. Yeah. Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> North Wheeler, South Wheeler. Yeah. 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 Um, here's here's the actresses I could find. Oh. There could be more. That have, that have played her. That have played Calamity It's not Jane. a complete list, but it, it is a it, solid it's as list. Co- it's as complete as I think I could find. There there could be more. Right. So, he, so here, here we go. I'm just going to list them off just here. Mm-hmm. Rattle them off. Yeah. Jane Russell, mm-hmm. Jean Arthur, Yvonne DiCarlo, Francis Farmer, mm-hmm. a very G-rated Doris Day musical, mm-hmm. uh, musical. Calamity Jane. Yeah, uh, it won the Oscar that year for a song called Secret Love. Aww. So Doris. About- so Doris Day Is that between her and Buffalo Bill? <laughs> right. Uh, uh, her and Wild Bill. That's Wild what I meant. Wild Bill yeah. Hitchcock. H- Hickok. Hickok. Jesus Christ. I know uh, I fucked yeah, that up yeah. the past. Uh, That's why I don't it say might his be name. A de- it might be a Deadwood Dick situation. Actually, I, I haven't actually seen that. Oh, okay. But like the the basic plot plot arc of that Calamity Jane, the Doris Day one, mm-hmm. is that like she transforms into like a feminine woman. Ew. To get the guy. Hot. I yeah. hate that. Yeah, and that song is basically like her, like talking about how she's transforming. Oh and, my god! And her secret love is this man. You know, it's it's pretty gross. She she walks in on like a a woman that's going to perform. You know, on An stage. abortion. <laughs> 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 no, wrong episode. Uh, she's going to perform on stage, and you know she's in her you know in her getup, you know. And uh, Doris Day in buckskin comes in, and I'm supposed to take you here, and she's like, "Well, you know, Mister Canary," and she's like, "I ain't no man. I'm I'm a woman." Yeah, and like it's this ridiculous scene that they have together about what it's like to dress as a woman, what it's like to dress as a man, type of a thing. And of course, she drinks sarsaparilla. She doesn't drink booze, <laughs> mm-hmm. so that's the the only mention of her alcoholism is is because oh, is... they probably didn't show people drinking no. alcohol in movies. Well, and especially not Doris Day, right? <laughs> you know? right. Yes, I'm Doris Day from yeah. from that Grease song <laughs> when she's talking about how Sandy is like so uh, such a prude, uh-huh. um, like and Doris she's like, Day. "Hey, I'm Doris Day." Yeah, yeah. are you so, talking about the movie? Uh, Grease. Yes, the movie Grease, yeah. uh-huh. not the country. No. no, in Greece they say this about Doris Day. <laughs> in, in, in the country Greece, yeah, yeah, they all have this opinion. Uh, no, that, that was actually a, that was a cunkism on my part, where it's yeah. like Greece, the country, the country. not, yeah, not that, the musical. Yeah, that is from no, that. I still show. have I still have more here. Oh, uh, Catherine Ann Jones, Broadway star. Jane Alexander, Catherine O'Hara, mm. Ellen Barkin, what? Angelica Houston. 
and Sylv- Sylvie Testud. I, I don't know who that is. But those are all the ones I could find. I know who Angelica Houston is. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Ca- Catherine, Catherine O'Hara? O'Hara? Yeah. I know who Catherine O'Hara is, too. Yeah. Catherine O'Hara got- played Calamity Jane. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm je- that's my horrible impression of Catherine O'Hara. Yeah. Every time I, think of, I can't do it. Every time I think of doing an impression of, of Catherine O'Hara, I think of her in uh, Waiting for Guffman, where she's talking about acting, and she goes, and so the, the trick is is when you look away from somebody, you open your eyes. And when you look at them and you talk to them, you close your eyes. <laughs> and then when you look away from them, you open your eyes. And when you look close, you close your eyes. <laughs> When you, what you do when you can't make eye contact yeah. with somebody. I had a Basically. teacher like that who she would never make eye contact with you. She would always look up. Yeah. Have you ever met people like that where that oh, cannot make eye contact? I can't, I can't they just stand like look that. up when they're talking to you, and it's like, yeah. what a weird. Yeah. Or or the the people. I think even South Park makes fun of this. But like people when they're talking down to you, they close their eyes at you. Oh, yeah. And they and they <laughs> maybe even like eyebrows. flutter. They like yes. flutter their their eyelids at you while they're explaining something to you because maybe you won't understand. Yeah. I'm doing yeah. that to Maddie right now because yeah. yeah. she's probably seen that more so than I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It turns out. Well, the I've thing seen is, Maddie, there's times. this thing called mansplaining. Yeah. And, yeah. It's when and I'm mansplaining <laughs> how she's been mansplained too. <laughs> it's like I, you probably haven't noticed, but sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you probably haven't noticed. Talk I don't down. know if you've ever noticed this, Maddie, yeah. but people sometimes, they talk down to women. Sometimes they assume women don't have the same knowledge, and they, they explain it to them in a way that might seem condescending. <laughs> and they make this face of, yeah, yeah. not looking like, at yeah. them in the eyes when they are explaining it. Yeah. I like, can't look a woman in their eyes. They're going to yeah. think that you want to marry them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's like a... <laughs> Dear Lord. I think it's like a psychological thing of like, I don't even want to see your reaction oh, kind yeah. of a deal. You know, I don't this care is how what little you have like to say. Her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Catherine O'Hara um, is amazing. I love her so much. She's great. She's, she's fucking a na- awesome. I mean, she's Canadian, but she is a national treasure. She's she, a she is international a tra- treasure. She's an international treasure. Yeah, she was in Shit's Creek, which is a very <laughs> yeah. Canadian yes. show. Yeah. She's, she's great. She's, she's great. I love Shit's Creek. You think it's a very Canadian show? It takes yeah, place in that, Canada. That's a Canadian show, my friend. Does it? I l- I did not know that actually, and I've seen the mm. whole show. Eugene Levy. I I didn't, is he also Canadian? Yeah. yeah. Okay. SCTV. Were, they were both on SCTV. I uh, yeah. I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. With John Candy. Yeah. Yeah. I crossed Some myself other. and hit she the mic. She was also yeah. the mom in Home Alone. <laughs> yeah, and Beetlejuice. Yeah, she's in Beetlejuice. <gasps> right. Uh, she's the voice of I think Sally in uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. I did I see not that know that. On here, yeah. Yep. She has the same birthday as my mom, actually. She might be my mom. Oh, what? <laughs> she is your mom. <laughs> and also... That's, that, that's History Boy's canon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Catherine Harris, my mom. And also, she is 69 years old. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. As of and recording Eugene this podcast. Eugene is 420 years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He played How high school think- tennis with uh, I don't know Ramses the second. I don't know Lucifer. It takes yeah. a lot of centuries to grow eyebrows like that. Turns out. Yeah. That's how you can tell when someone's over four hundred years old is yeah. when they have eyebrows. The size <laughs> of this man's it's eyebrows. It's him and Dracula. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Uh, Peter Gallagher. <laughs> Lily, Lily Collins. <laughs> Lily oh, Collins. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we just named quite a few. They're Cara all Delevingne. over 400 years old. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> I can't believe how many people I thought of who had big eyebrows. Big eyebrows. Jason Biggs. Uh, I mean... Christopher Lee. Yeah. Yeah. But my favorite, my personal favorite uh, rendition of Calamity Jane was, of course, in the TV series Deadwood. Karate mm. Chap. Um... Played by Robin Weigert. Um, I think this representation, out of all the ones I just named, is probably the best. Now, the TV show does depict Calamity Jane and Wild Bill Hickok as, like, close friends. Mm -hmm. That's not true. But the way she acts, like, she constantly has, like, a dip in. She's spitting. She's cursing constantly. Mm -hmm. And just drinking all the time. Brad Dorff plays a character in... uh, Deadwood, and they have this really great scene where Brad Dorff begs her to stop drinking. Uh, I um, love him. Yeah. Tyler yeah. and I always it's wanted to make a, a movie. We wanted to make a zombie western back in the day. We yeah. even wrote a treatment for it. Yeah. Like an outline. And uh, we really, we had a preacher that kind of like 
he was an evil preacher, you know. Yeah. He he's the one who sends the raves and the zombies, and he would have been played by uh, Brad Dorf. Yeah, that's awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome. great? That'd be so great. Yeah, I think zombies are outdone now. I, yeah. oh. Even Wild West zombies, eh, maybe if it was fresh enough. I don't know. I mean, it's been done right. at this point. We were yeah. just like, let's combine these two things. We haven't seen that yet, but like, yeah. if they, since it's been done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we. I think we did that like fucking. I don't know, 15 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> That's how long I've known Tyler. <laughs> yeah. We need a good cala- a good new Calamity Jane movie yeah. is what it sounds yeah. like, yeah. I think. And yeah. put zombies in it. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Sure. Fuck it. Who gives a shit? Who would you have play Calamity Jane? I was just thinking about Sydney that. Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was actually going to say she- Zendaya. Who's Zendaya. also in Euphoria. Because the, the character that she plays in Euphoria is like a drug addict... Mm. Um, and she's very, very good at playing that character. She's like real thin. Well, she Zendaya can gain. Like she thin. can do a Christian Bale and gain some weight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Eat some cheesecake. Yeah. Zendaya, yeah. We'll cast you yeah. for for Calamity Jane. There's probably better, but for some reason she came up. I thought uh, Sydney Sweeney because we had a break earlier and I was talking about how attractive she is. <laughs> yeah. How about uh, Alexander Daddario? Yeah. Let's not like. You the know, point I'm is, they as well say like Jane Russell. Yes, the you point know? is that it's supposed to be more. I was going the exact opposite and, yeah. to fuck with you. Yeah, I know you were, and less were. Francis Farmer. Yeah, more. You know, accurate. Yeah, uh, uh, I gritty, really don't know. like someone that plays a good. Gritty, I'm gonna have to think about that. I know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if you're on our Discord, you could help us out with that. Yeah. You know that that can might, might be a good that. question for Discord. Oh, uh, but, but Pedro I, Pascal. <laughs> he's yeah, in everything. He's in everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tom Holland. While we're at it, no, uh, yeah. Zendaya's boyfriend. Yeah, yeah right? that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Our fiance. I don't know. I, I don't I care. Was thinking, I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of somebody that that has really changed their look before. You know, that's pulled a. Um, uh, what's her name from like Monster? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Charlize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlize Theron. Like yeah. pulls a Charlize Theron to do. Calamity Jane. Sydney Sweeney could do it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, don't I also think that's her. I also think like late, cast. like maybe like later years Calamity Jane. You know, Meryl Streep can do anything. Oh, you know, yeah, she's gonna be in the next season of uh, Only Murders in the Building. Uh, yeah. <gasps> that's Is she? right. That's yeah. right. Which you can watch uh, on Hulu. <laughs> they don't sponsor the show. <laughs> Actually, I think Catherine O'Hara could do Calamity Jane yeah, later a later year life type, type thing. again and her redo later, it accurately. For later years. I feel like Juliette Lewis might be able to pull it off. That's actually you know? not bad. Now that you know. she's not a Scientologist anymore. Oh, was Is that she? true? Oh, I didn't yeah, know that. she was. Yes. I'm not casting Scientologists in she anything. She only recently. I if think, you're a Scientologist came out of at home, fucking leave. Leave. Um, That's my issue with At this uh, point, I think it's cult. only celebrities. Leave. It's got to be. Right? Uh, I think they're getting people in other countries and shit. Yeah, they got like they still got Sea Org members, right? And there's no celebrities in Sea Org. I don't. <laughs> not they're not celebrities to you. <laughs> they're celebrities to someone. <laughs> they're celebrities to Scientologists. <laughs> I don't think they are. <laughs> yeah, I think David not. Miscavige like mistreats them for a reason. Mm-hmm. Oh, they look. Yeah. Yeah. Well, David Miscavige. David Miscavige. Yeah. Is a celebrity. Too. What about Anya Taylor Joy? As Calamity Jane. I like that because I love her. I know, she, me too. They would really have to do something oh, you're right. to her. Oh, you're right. She's too thin. <laughs> yeah, she's real thin. <laughs> she's so thin. She's incredibly she, They would thin. have to do something to her to, like... I think it'd get uglier her, up, though. But, but her <laughs> gaze is, like, piercing. And, like... I mean, I guess Calamity Jane did have, like, piercing blue eyes, but, like, in a different way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so not piercing the vibe. Eyes in a different way. Not the right super vibe. pretty. At least I think so. I do think, though, that... Calamity Jane would be highly entertained by the representations and stories about her now. You know yeah, I mean? perhaps. She'd, she'd call it a bunch of bullshit, of course. Right. But, but I think she'd be entertained by it. I think she'd have a good time with it. Yeah. You know? I really think that her story is, like, so interesting and, like, so cool and, and rare, I think, for women of that time yeah. to have, like, such a legend that... I just wish that it was more well known, and I really think a big like blockbuster Calamity Jane movie. Yeah. There is room for it, and oh, there's yeah. space for it, and I think people would love it. Yeah, but I, I honestly think like her story is less about because like she didn't necessarily do anything, right? Like she didn't shoot anyone. That's she didn't true. really get into any gunfights. It or really seems like, that. like all she like, did was uh, dress like a dude, and somebody wrote 
stories and about drink, it. <laughs> drink a bunch of alcohol. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Like, but I, but I think it's more of a story about if they didn't write those dime novels, I don't. Right. We wouldn't know. No, no, was. right, right, right. I, I think the story is more about like her real story is more about poverty, right, and and yeah. what it's like to be a woman at at, at a certain time or yes, place. Yes, exactly. And yeah, just sort of getting over that hump of. No, her life was one of abject poverty. Right. Like, is something that, like, that's not really for a good story, mm-hmm. but it's, it's, it was the reality, mm-hmm. right, of the time, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. It's a good way to, it's a good viewpoint for looking at the Western world of that time through Calamity Jane. Yeah. Yeah. Portraying it through her life. She was, in a lot of ways, she was typical. Of right. the time, like like she's known for being atypical of the time, you know, wearing women or wearing men's clothes mm. and, and cursing and drinking, mm-hmm. but her life is actually very typical, right? Very typical, right. abject poverty, going from place to place, like that's right. how it was, and like later in life, that world was gone, mm-hmm. like the world she knew and the world that remembered her for what she was mm-hmm. disappeared, mm-hmm. you know, and for a lot of people like her, they all of a sudden didn't. F- didn't have a home really anymore, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, like the world itself was gone. And like, even like the people in Deadwood, they were like, let's stop talking about Calamity Jane. It's giving us a bad name. Yeah. You know, it's giving us, you know, there, there, there were even like these festivals that popped up. I think they're still going now. And in Princeton, Missouri, I think they have Calamity Jane days. Mm. And like in Calamity Jane days, like they have parades and, and whatnot. They, they even have a lookalike contest. And, oh, uh, that's fun. Yeah, and uh, all the businesses, of course, they sponsor the whole thing. Yeah. And so they have prices at calamitous, you ah. know, so calamitous <laughs> savings, you know. <laughs> We're going to go out of fucking business because yeah. we lowered our prices too much. We, we are yeah. fucking incompetent <laughs> yeah. businessmen. It's calamity. These small you know. towns in, like, middle America always have stuff like that, yeah. right? So, like, the, the town that I grew up in. We have Jesse James days. Oh, really? Yep. What town is that? Northfield, which we're oh. famous for killing his brother. Frank James. Yeah. yeah. In, in um, the bank robbery, which yes. the bank is still there. Oh, that's super cool. And so like we that. have Jesse James days. We don't have lookalike contests, I don't yeah. think. Not that I've ever seen, yeah. but that would be fun. I don't it's, know why my hometown, uh, our, our famous birth, like in, my, in Oregon, in yeah. North Bend, Coos Bay, it's uh, Steve Prefontaine. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, uh, the uh, the long distance runner. Yeah, yeah, played yeah. by Jared Leto in a movie. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. The pre the Prefontaine movie. I, I think it's called Prefontaine. Mm-hmm. That was Jared Leto. Jared Leto, lead Leto? singer of um, Thirty th- Seconds to Mars. Yes. Well, let me like, Google it because I'm pretty <laughs> sure it is. But yeah, there's a they do a re- they do a reenactment. Of oh yeah, the, of the bank robbery. Yeah, of the bank robbery. That's awesome. And One day we're gonna have to do that. Yeah, yeah that, that I would thing. love if we did. Yeah, like Jesse James. Yeah, and there and oh, and then I could watch the assassination of Jesse James by the coward uh, Robert Ford again. That's a great movie. It's so mm. good. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? No, but I no. Nick the, Cave wrote this. <laughs> I was gonna say in the soundtrack. In the soundtrack, we had to read um, "A River Runs Through It" in high school uh, yeah. because they talk about Northfield actually in the book as yeah being known for which is really and funny. Yes, it was Jared Leto. That's crazy. I was like 98% sure, but it is a podcast. I didn't want to be uh, yeah. immortalized. <laughs> People as yelling at their... But yeah, he was a baby. Huh. Uh, we, I mean, we had Cherry Festival because we oh, didn't nice. have any famous people. We just had... <laughs> by the way, by the time I was like in high school, my hometown did not have like cherry orchards anymore. <laughs> so like it's Cherry Festival in name With only. no cherry, yeah. <laughs> like there, there still are, but not... It, it wasn't like the whole valley like it used to be. Okay. Yeah. So, oh shit. So, but 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 it's very much the same thing where there were like, you know, parades, carnivals. Oh you yeah. Know, type oh yeah. Because yeah, we had yeah. a carnival. We had carnival. parade. One of those traveling carnivals. Bingo, raising money for the local yep. fire fire department. Contest. Oh, we didn't do that. Okay, we're we did that. Fun. I like those pies. elephant ears. Oh, I love elephant ears. Oh my gosh, I love funnel elephant ears. cakes. That's yeah. a, I'm more of a funnel cake. That's person. the same thing. It's the same thing, but it's in a, like a little, it's sprayed out of a little bag. Oh, then I, maybe, I don't know if I've had 
No, I've definitely had both. I've had both. Yeah. You're right. And they are, are different. F- like flat. Yeah. Like fried pancakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The funnel cake yeah. is clearly, it's like someone squirted yeah, something into like batter. oil, basically. Yeah, yeah batter into yeah. F- oil and deep fried it. And they cover it in that powdered sugar. Ah, it's so good. We should, um. Mini donuts. Finish this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be, feel free to leave all that in. <laughs> I don't Stop care. Stop talking about we'll your see. fucking small time. I left in the entire fucking. Bowel movement. Talking Talk, about your yeah, bowel your BMs. Movements. Yeah, so not I'm Bloody just, Marys. All right, everybody. Well, that was our show. Thank you so much for listening again. And you know who I am? I'm Christopher Whedon. Nice. And I might start going by CD Whedon. Ooh, after, CD Whedon. Because like it's also CD. It's also CD. like I hang out at CD bars. Yeah. I, I go. I You're hang a CD out. guy. I'm a C. Oh, pff, I'm a real yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a real dirtbag. Oh, those are your initials, CD. CD. Christopher mm. David Whedon. Yeah. Oh. CD, CD, which is also CD compact Weed. disc, which, 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 disc, oh. which is cool. Yep. So um, you could either lean into that mm-hmm. or the CD part. But I'm just saying, Chris, you're already further in one direction versus the other. Yeah, much more yeah. in the direction you of being a CD CDs person. All One's over easier your than the other. I was like the kind of person yes. people like. Somebody crosses the <laughs> yeah. street. Yeah. When they see me walking. Yeah. yeah. It's true because I will mug them. Yeah, it's I've the facial it. hair. It's the facial hair. I'm yeah, sure. it's some fucking really gross facial hair. Yeah. I've, I've grown it on purpose. I actually shave all these the, gross the patchy parts patch- out. Yeah, yeah. I actually grow a very full beard. <laughs> you make it look all patchy, like that. Yeah. yeah. It's a deliberate style choice that I've made. That's hilarious. And continue. And will continue to make. Yeah. For the sake of uh, your uh, fans. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For you, you <laughs> folks at home. I grow this beard for you. Yeah. It's not a visual medium, Chris. You don't have to. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they can't see you. Yeah, they have no I, idea what you look like. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course. Uh. And I'm Maddie Moon, and I am going to talk to you a little bit about our social media and our Patreon. I just want to basically remind you that we have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, beg and plead for your yeah. Yeah. for your follows. If yeah. you, if you Follow- haven't deleted all of your social social medias, which I would support. Oh yeah, yeah. Be sure to follow us. Yeah. So I need one of two things: you delete your social media, or two, you follow us on all your social right. media. Yes. And to be honest, I've been watching. I know the amount of people who have social media doesn't equal the amount of people who follow us, and that's a bit of an issue for me. <laughs> It's not an issue for me. I don't care if you listen and you don't follow us. Yeah, I don't give a shit either. I don't give. I don't give a shit. Could you imagine if that was something I di- like? That's the I, you I actually cared on. about. Yeah. If no, you have no. it, um, we share. I share some like behind the scenes stuff yeah. on there. Yeah. We post every time an episode goes up on the Instagram at least. Uh, so that's History Boys Podcast, and then we also have a Patreon if you want to support us monetarily. Mm. Um, Please do. Pennies a day. Yeah. We have three tiers, one dollar a month to get on our Discord and tell us who you think Calamity Jane should be played by. You <laughs> yeah. have to pay us a dollar to tell us. <laughs> yeah. Or we won't listen to you. Yeah, we yeah. will not listen. <laughs> if you just email us, we'll delete it. Yeah. And yeah. block you. Yeah. yeah. Dust my hands off and be like, yeah. another hard well, day's work. Yeah. <laughs> that was that. Guess that guess that person couldn't afford one actually, if dollar. They, if they yeah. did email us and say I, I actually would take that. Honestly, if you did email us and say I think Calamity Jane should be played by this actress or actor. Yeah. Yep. I we probably will share it on the show. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I mean, I, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, I think we. Yeah. Sh- I that's, think that's actually yeah a total joke. Most of the time when people email us, we do respond. Most yeah. of the time. Yeah. History Boys Podcast at Gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of the time, not yeah. all the time. Yes. Yeah. So if you want to talk to us on the Patreon, there's that, and then we have a five dollar tier, which you can get the most recent episode of our Patreon show that we do. Oh. Well, Chris and I did the. Most recent one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, and if you want access to the other, all the other ones, it's ten dollars a month. Um, but I think you Tyler hosted most of most of those. Yeah, yeah Tyler. That, Tyler hosted those. Yeah, that yeah. show. I don't know. Do you guys have a name for your show yet? No. In fact, I think we talked about how we didn't. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. The name of Tyler's oh, show. I called it the Colgate Hour with Chris and Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> but Colgate doesn't sponsor us. I know. <laughs> Uh, a man named Colgate does. Oh, oh. We should he, call it. He the- lives in one of those RVs down the street. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, he gives us a How dollar. How come that makes so much sense that his name would be Colgate? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, I don't know if it's his first name or his last name. It's like four teeth. Both, I do so. know he breaks. It might be ironic. I do know he breaks into cars in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I told him I'd name my... Uh, Patreon podcast after him if he didn't break into my car. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good trade off then. He breaks into cars to steal the change out of the cars to give to us to pay to sponsor. He's us. a good man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Other than that part. Yeah. Well, the breaking the windows. He's morally gray. Yeah. yeah. He's a bit of an anti hero. Colgate. <laughs> yeah. Which, I don't know. He just goes by Colgate. Like, I don't think yeah. it's a share situation. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit yeah, of a yeah. share situ- situation. Yep. I, don't, I mean, that's those are our three that's tiers, and uh, give us money. <laughs> <laughs> it just, does I'm help us kidding. out a lot. Yeah, we're you know we we all do this on the side. We all have like full time jobs outside I, I of this. Okay, well, whatever. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you Chris have a, doesn't. You have a job, but me but, and me and Maddie don't. <laughs> yes, we're doing this on the side for fun, for for the love of the game, basically. Yeah. Um, and so anything helps. It helps for us. You, you know. Buy the things that are necessary for the show, mm-hmm. which you wouldn't think, but you know, you kind of need some stuff for podcasts. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's, they're not exactly free, especially for us who who do a history podcast and we need to do research, and so Jerry yeah. needs to buy books and and you know whatever, whatever wherever else he gets his information. <laughs> Fuck if I know. She On doesn't even. She doesn't even <laughs> read my source notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who knows? He could yeah. be getting it from anywhere at. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just kidding, yeah. but yeah, so it, it's helpful for us because, yeah, it helps us keep going, basically. It does. It does indeed, and I, of uh, of course, am Jerry Nash, your humble history boy. As always, thank you so much for listening to each and every one of you. We love our patron supporters, mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. course. Mm-hmm. Um, anyone that decides to give, give us money to, to produce this show. We, we of course appreciate it so much. And of course I, I, I love our lurker listeners that, uh, never say anything, but they listen to the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that really means the most to us is, uh, the fact that you listen to the show. Mm-hmm. We, we really do appreciate all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else gang. Nah, there's not Mr. Chris. Love you, bye.